All right, let's continue. Test. Let me know if you can hear me. All right. Yep. All right. So we are creating a template, 400 tracks template. Um, this is a four and a half year old computer. Um, I'm trying to keep it under 32 gigs of RAM. My goal is for this to be, I'm happy with my template, but I want uh, just to see if I, I can bring it down to like zero milliseconds latency. Now, it's basically, I like it. I'm very happy with it, but I would like to simplify it a little bit. I'd like to try going from two computer system to one computer system, going from BE Pro to no BE Pro, so no BE Pro, even in one computer system, everything in Cubase, everything loaded in Cubase. And, um, and see how it goes. The Usually the way I do things is whenever I have a project is when I make the change before the project. So I can test it during the project. So we've got a, a movie coming that starts next month, the 16th. And then um, it's from the 16th till the 9th of the following month. So it's less than 30 days, 60 minutes of music. So, you know, it's a, um, you know, so one of these times where you have to wor work uh, quite a bit. So it's like the two minutes of music per day. And, uh, and I, I want to put this to test, right? So if it doesn't work, I'll know. Um, so we got this started yesterday. We're going to continue today. Let's do it. Let's see what we had. And um, just to give you um, a, an idea of how we were doing things, basically, um, the, that, that down below is my the, the old template, right? And uh, I'm going to open all these things. And yesterday we did a little bit. Right, and so we will continue. The last thing that we were doing yesterday is um, the CSS, Cinematic Studio Strings, um, and we were doing that. So um, we've done the sketching patches, uh, we've done the strings basics as well. So I'm gonna close these guys. Um, now we were doing the CSS. Um, all of this is um, here. All of all of this is here. Um, in um, the BE Pro template, which I'm gonna get rid of. But what I'm doing is I'm saving the multis or the, uh, so uh, for example, CSS is here. So I'll go here, I'll open this, right? I'll save this as the, the multi, and then I'll, um, I'll open this on Cubase later on here. And then I'll, I'll create this, the, the first instrument, right? And then I'll duplicate and then I'll delete the remaining the, the the patches in there that don't belong there. So I'm I'm loading one contact, so one patch per contact sort of thing, right? So I'm also we're going from for multi team brawl to kind of like just again one instance per track. So no no MIDI aux return anymore. All right, enough talking. Those of you who were here yesterday, we, you you know we are, what we are doing. So. Um, let's do it. Let me just uh, open the chat here. So I'm going to go to looking at the other screen. Give me one second. Uh, YouTube. Uh, cinematic composing. So I can say hi. Cinematic composing. Boom. Live. Also, by the way, um, if this goes a little bit slower, let me just mute the... Let, let me mute the... Hey, thanks for joining. Good to see you. Hey, Sebastian. All right, cool. So back here. Um, if the stream goes a little bit slow, it's, I'm, um, I'm compressing a video at the moment. So uh, we're pushing it, pushing it. <laughs> CPU, CPU, 72%. Um, that is because we are encoding video here uh, plus the GPU. All right, it should, it should, it should be fine. It should be fine. All right, let's do this. Um, all right, so uh, also, hopefully it won't crash. But generally, I said this yesterday, CSS in the past, and I haven't updated it because there's no update. Um, inside Cubase, in my template, has crashed this project several times. So we'll see, we'll see. Um, and it has crashed after when I, when I finished the um, the stream yesterday. I stayed a little bit here, and uh, it, um, it it crashed. So we'll, we'll hope for the best. So um, 
enable track. Right, so enable track and perfect. All right, so this is um, uh, the um, let's see, violins, violins one uh, long, long, and then we're gonna have violins, violins one short, and violins one um, sorry, violins two long, violins two short then we're gonna have the viola long viola short uh, uh violoncello long cello short articulations right and then we're gonna have the um double bass long double bass short ensemble um, long ensemble short ah. so that's that's how i've got it this distributed so we've got violins one long and I selected and activated the, the three key switches that are kind of long notes. So the sustained tremolo, sustained legato, tremolo, and trills. That to me is long. So now next we're gonna do the short notes. So I'm gonna activate this. Uh, so I'm gonna save, save. Because again, I'm not too sure about um, CSS. It might in my in this part in this particular template. I'm not saying that I am not saying that CSS crashes um, or anything like that. It doesn't. All right. So it's loading. This should be very easy um, to do, as opposed to what we did yesterday. So we're gonna open this guy here. And we just want to have the violin, so we're going to get rid of this one. No. Uh, we're going to get rid of this one. 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 And this one. Now we're going to open this. And we are just going to have uh, not this one. Not this one. See how the this guy goes down? Uh, not this one. And we, these are the articulations that we are going to leave here it's perched as you see as you see um that's it that's it uh one one boom all right hey craig el viejo samu samuel 400s on an old i9 with only 32 of ram blasphemy you know <laughs> it's uh it, it's uh my goal is to keep it under 32 gigs of RAM. It's one, this, this, this computer is one, uh, 128. But my goal would be to be able to use the same template in different, in a laptop as well. All right, cool. And that's the, the, the reason why, uh, I don't know if, you, if so if, if, if any of you weren't here yesterday, the, the reason why I'm doing this is because, um, you know, I, I I'm a composer, right? And I, you know, I've I've been doing this for a while, um, not for a long time, but uh, 12 years. And, and so I started with a small template, um, with nothing then, and then I built a, a small, you know, small template, 16 tracks, 32, and then it started cr growing. It 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 grew as I was working in project, and I and I needed more things, and I think that is the way to do it. So like for, for something to grow organically, as you need things, because sometimes if you go the other way around, where it's like I'm gonna build a template, and this is what I'm going to need, and then you hypothesize what you're going to need, and then. The truth is that you don't really know. It depends what you're gonna need. It depends on the type of project. It depends on the type of composer that you are. It depends on the style of music, right? And so to me, I prefer to have something that's very basic to start with. And then as I need more things, start adding and organizing things. So my template has been growing. And I and slowly, very slowly, and I added things when I needed them, right? And sometimes in, in each project that I work, I, I first, before I start the project, I use I use my template, but I customize a part of the template, you know, for that specific project, right? So that specific project has specific sound, and I load a few instruments that then at the end of, of the project of the project generally gets rid off, but uh, some of them are like they prove to be useful, and so I keep them in my template for later projects, and so that's how it grows. But at some point, and I'm very comfortable with my template because I've been working with it for years, right? 
But for someone who, when I'm teaching, because I also teach, right? When I'm teaching at cinematic composing, I sometimes I start explaining how I do things and I just like, okay, and people will see me composing and it's like, uh, dude, um, and, and I ask them that the way I usually teach is I, I, I kind of like, uh, I do the composing, right? And I show how things are done, get done. Um, and I do the composing step by step and they can see, but then, and then it's like, okay, now you've, you've seen this, it's tangible, right? Now just do the same thing that I have done and add your own thing and add your voice to it. But that's how I teach, right? Instead of um, teaching like first harmony, then counterpoint orchestration. We teach you all these things, but generally the, the way I personally like teaching is like, this is how you do it. And by understanding how to compose in, let's say a specific type of a style, then you will learn the other things that you need to learn along the way, the orchestration, the composition. Um, but a complaint or, you know, people would call me out like, okay, I get the, the, the how, but now you also have the tool that I don't have, right? This, let's say this, uh, this uh, template with everything ready. Right, it's like, okay, cool. And also you're using two computers, you know, 128, 128, 256 gigs of RAM, etc. right? It's like, I don't have this kind of, you know, power or these two computers. And so it's like, okay, I'm, 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 try, I'm gonna try to simplify this as much as possible while still having everything that I need to compose. Um, but also in a way that, um, that someone can, could relate a little bit more. So that's why I'm doing this, right, cool, let's continue. So, well, in short, uh, great. Mm. Cool, all right. Dun, dun. Violin's too long. Now we're gonna go to enabled. Let's, um, we're gonna, um, we're gonna save as I go and I'm gonna enable them one by one instead of doing them all at the same time. And I know that at the moment it takes a little bit too much to save when I hit uh, Command or, or Control S. It takes a few seconds, I don't like that. I wanted to save in like one second, that's it. But it's the, the template, it's not fully optimized yet. All right, cool. Now, violin is too long. I'm gonna open this instance, gonna get rid of these first two, one, Two, so violin is two, and then I'm gonna get rid of this one, 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 this one. Cool. All right. And now we're gonna open this. This is going to be one one, and we're gonna open this, and we're gonna keep just the oops, just the lungs. All right. Cool. Close. Now this one, save. Save, no, enable. There you go, short notes. here and what we're gonna do is close this one close this one and close this one now we're gonna close these violas violas cellos cellos basses basses full ensemble full ensemble and then we're gonna do boom boom and this is the short note so we'll get rid of this this and this is that correct yes cool safe and do the next. Yep, a combo. How are you? Hola. Viola long. Viola, so. One, two, three, four, and viola. Oops. Well, it'll do. Wrong. Uh, one. Cello, cello, basses, basses, 
ensemble ensemble one and then these are the long long yes one two three four five great okay and now we're gonna close this guy here oops make sure that this is one one close then uh, one here as well for the earlier track we're gonna open this one perfect close open yes and open close cool all right viola done is that correct yes one one yes and enable this one enable track thanks this will be a cool video um especially for me i'm in need of a computer upgrade and uh i'm torn between the mac studio Pff, i would with 10 cpu 64 ram 2 terabytes ssd or configure with 20 core um um yeah yeah i'm before doing this video uh before that before the movie i was i was considering actually buying that computer it's inter i've got i've got experience with the m1s uh, or a little bit of experience with the m1s and it just uh it's just, just it's a beautiful cpu it's great it's great and also i do a lot, a lot of video at the moment i'm um I do a lot of encoding because when uh, when I'm doing these videos so like this, what 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 you're seeing now at the moment, um, usually I just record everything. Like I record this camera, right? This camera. I record this camera there, and I also have another one up here. Um, and so, and I'm recording right internally each camera that I send them to the editors for, you know, for later on. This is just, this is a, a live stream, but when I'm teaching or I'm doing a live class or when I'm recording content for, um, that's, that's the setup that, that I've got. And so, but it's a, it's a lot of data, right? And so uh, we, we all work remotely people um, in, um, in cinematic composing. It's a, it's a team of 20 people, um, got three video editors. And so, um, if I had to send big files, it's just just a waste of a space, to be fair, to be honest. And, you know, working remotely, it's, it's just complicated. So what I do is after recording all this, I compress and encode everything like what you're seeing um, at the moment. This is a class that we have with Javier Navarrete um, today uh, for Momentum. And uh, but when we ended this class, right, they recorded the same setup plus OBS and I end with like one of its uh, one of these cam it's each one of these cameras like 60 gigs right OBS is going to be 12 gigs or whatever and then um, so i compress everything and we upload for it to be edited so i do a lot of this and that cpu it's great it's a, it has a great graphics card as well so that's something that would be useful for me for me it's it's way overkill for a composer for the for the gpu the the graphics card but but I know that it'd be very useful for me. Um, I've I've been using the, the the MacBook Air, the MacBook Air M1, and it edits, edits video better than uh, this computer that has a, a quite expensive of a GPU. What is it here? Nvidia. This this one, the RTX. 2060 super that is an expensive like this is a very expensive um gpu i don't know how it like 600 or something like this or maybe rtx 2060 rtx 2060 or can i rtx 2060 super yeah 600 400 six so and it's a big card it's old now it's uh, from 2019 the again the m1 oh i was just showing this the m1 is uh, the, the this computer that has no fans um no fun it's so light and it's the it's the, the cpu is so powerful and the graphics card is so powerful and um so i like i cannot imagine how powerful the uh, the the Mac Studio would be. Anyway, uh, let's continue. 
is someone uh, of you maybe using FL Studio or, or, or competitions for competitions because building a template there is really hard. So if anyone has some tips, um, we've got we've got the students that are using uh, FL Studios. Um, um, no problem. In fact, let me see if I can. Eh. So you, I'll show you later on. I'm, I'm gonna focus here, otherwise we, we, we will not, will never end this. So this Viola short, we had, uh, we just had one uh, student today. Uh, his name is Rafael. And uh, I keep talking about cinematic. We're just gonna focus here. Uh, two violins, uh, Viola out, cool. All right, and then cellos, 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 cellos. Boom. And then this is going to be one. And then this is for short notes. So I'm going to get rid of this, this, and this. Cool. All right. Great. Okay. Then save. So far, so good. Hasn't crashed. Um, Q, um, so El Viejo uh, is saying Cubase is the best dog. Cubase is great. I like it. But Logic is great. DP is great. FL Studios obviously is not kind of like it's not built or it's not meant for the type of things like the fitness scoring type of thing, right? Uh, but you can definitely 100%. I'll show you. I'll show you an example later. If you're still interested and you're still here and there's a moment where I'm waiting for something to load, I'll show an example of someone who's posted um, who's, uh, an assignment from uh, Rafael. He's, uh, he works with FL Studio and he's, he scored uh, kind of like in a scene. It was an assignment uh, for Momentum for um, uh, Javier Navarrete, um, who's uh, reviewing everyone's music. And he scored a, uh, um, um, Rafael scored a cue from Avengers. And Javier was like, was like, whoa, this is great music, right? And it's like, it sounds great and all that. And he said like, like, like nice things to Rafael. And Rafael said, wow, this means a lot. You know, thank you so much. You know, I'm, I'm, it, it means a lot that it comes from you, especially because I'm a um, 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 piping engineer. Um, he, he, he works in a, um, he, uh, in a company that, that builds um, super yachts, right? And he's in charge of like the piping. He's an engineer. Um, and he started a few months ago in Momentum, right? And so he, uh, ha uh, Javier asked, how much time have you been doing this? Like two, three months. He was like, what? And, and he was like, what sequencer are you using? He was like, FL Studios, right? And he was like, the music is great. The mock-up sounds fantastic. And to me, that comes to prove that it doesn't really matter what libraries, what sequencer you're using. It's about how you use it and making it work for you, right? So, so if you're if uh, if you find the tools in the sequence in that sequence in, in, in any sequence that you're using in FL Studios that allow you to work fast and efficiently, great, go for it, right? So to me, for example, Cubase, this thing, right, showing the tracks with uh, with data uh, or showing tracks with data in the course of position. And, uh, and also being able to command F the track, that to me is the most important thing. But that's something that for, to me, I use it a lot. And at the time, uh, Sonar, which is the one that I was using, Cakewalk, didn't have something like this. Um, I lost something that to me at the time was very important, which is kind of like the, like the template tracks, um, which I, won't, I will not explain, but um, but I gained this um, and I like it. My workload is very important for the, the way I compose. Cool, more, uh, able track. Okay, so we've got viola long. Yes, one one, viola short, perfect one one, and then cello, save, open, come on. 
it's taking a little bit longer. It's going a little bit slower than usual because I'm, I'm compressing, I'm encoding video. No, 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 violins, no, violas, violas, cello, I have to read at least cello as well, basses, ensemble, ensemble. Let's make this big, open. These are the long notes, so I'm gonna get rid of this. Guys, one, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna open this. Oops, I forgot to. Hey, Lorenzo, remind me if I if I forget to show uh, that clip. Um, it's a very short thing. But uh, I'll show it when I'm loading something and we have to wait. Um, cool. Now I'm going to open this cello because, um, yeah, and close. So this is violin one, violin two, violas. I'm going to get rid of the cello and I'm going to get rid of the basses. Ensemble. Cool. Open. Boom. One. I think I forgot to do this in the other one. So these are the short. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Cool. Boom. Open the other one. But I did not change this. Boom. One. Close. Command S. Or Control S. Come on. We're almost done with CSS. And I'll show you how it's looking. I'm gonna enable. Gonna enable two. Enable tracks. Thanks. Spitfire is good, yes. Spitfire is great. There are many, many, many great libraries out there, especially these days. Remember back in the days when, you know, BSL was kind of like the only option, then East West. There are so many these days. So many great developers. Too many. <laughs> I'm not saying it's bad. It's just that sometimes you don't you don't know what which one to use. They're all so good. Um and it's a responsibility because when you buy one, when you install one, you know, if, you know, there, there are so many, there's so much wealth of, you know, great sounds in each one of the libraries that it should be your responsibility to actually investigate what's in there uh, to truly get to learn the library and get the most out of it. And we tend to buy new stuff just because they it's such a great trailer, right? Or teaser. And it's like, I need this. <laughs> and maybe what, what you need is hidden in some libraries that you already have. And you forgot that that, you know, violence effect was there, whatever it is, right? Anyway, um, so this is basis, long notes. I'm going to get rid of this, 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 this. And it's one, one, cool. And then we've got short notes. Boom. Everything that I'm saying, by the way, is just my opinion. It's um, we have a different opinion. So, for what it is worth. Now, this is short, so I'm gonna keep these guys. How? Oh, there's no, there's no harmonics. Forgot about this. Um, porch and ensembles. I'm gonna activate these to oh, go save. And I'm going to open this. Just no, yeah, I forgot to forgot to do this. And then this one. 
Yes, perfect. Load. Uh, enable. We're almost done. Almost done with uh, with this. Everything will run smoother. Uh, what I'll do is I'll um, I'll upload this to Loom because just finish this class and uh, have to do, upload it for the replay. All right. Come on. Oops. There you go. Both active. Now we're gonna boom, 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 boom. boom. Then one. And uh, so this is the full ensemble long notes. And the short notes. Come on, this. Right. And these are our short notes. Great, we're done. Perfect. All right, so CSS complete. So now we can close this. Boom. All right, fantastic. Let's keep moving. We're getting there. Um, CSS, I like it very much. So I got to try this. What um what else um if we forgot to do this to so violin is long so I'm gonna save and uh, uh, where are my CSS here here so I'm going to bring these guys here just for a second here great okay now we're gonna open this. So violins one, violins one, copy. This is the old aux return. So with all the sends and all this, a uh, little bit of EQ and the, the routing. So copy, paste. So it's EQ, a little bit of filtering. Boom. All right, fantastic. Violins short, paste. Viola. I didn't two, I don't know, viola. Paste. So um, long, short, long, short, perfect. And then viola, now we're gonna go to viola, which is here, viola, the guys, so long notes. Viola, long notes, paste. Long, perfect. Viola, short notes, copy. Viola, short notes, paste. Then viola legato, uh, cello legato, paste. So short, low, low. No, I messed up. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's correct. Uh, cello, le yeah, and, that's, and then short notes. Copy. Um, it's basically just copying the track configuration. Paste. Now we're going to do double basis. Copy. Paste. And then double basis copy and short paste. Then yes, double base perfect. Then we're gonna do strings long. 
So the ensemble, ensemble, perfect, and ensemble short, copy, paste. Perfect. Just making sure that the, it's going going to the right group to the right stem. Cool. All right. Perfect. Okay. Now we can save first. I'm gonna move these guys back to where they belong. This is the the VE Pro part of the template. I just move them so I can copy paste easy, um, and I don't have to scroll. Cool. All right. So now we've got the sketching patches, the strings basics, the CSS. Perfect. Any question? No. Great. Okay, let's continue. So I'm gonna close this guy and now we're gonna do the strings all articulations. And I'm gonna simplify this a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna simplify this a little bit because it's uh, just a tad, tad too much. Um, I thought that I would need all this, but no, the truth is I don't need that much. Um, it was uh, something like a vision that I had of having kind of like three levels of depth right in my template we have with without having to tweak anything so i had kind of like the typical ensemble strings ensemble sound and then kind of like a closer sound and then a very close sound turns out it was too close so it was too much so anyway now we're going here to be pro we're gonna close this we're gonna open the um all the strings, strings or articulations, and then I've got a contact here with how many? 16, okay, cool. And then I have got a contact here, okay, with another 16, cool. And I've got another one, I think. Just two contacts, great. I think we can do this. So we're gonna go with first one. Um, I don't know what happened. That's okay because, well, hopefully, let me see. Contact, contact. Strings. All articulations. Now that's too old. What is happening? Is that happening exactly here? Contact. Ah. File. Um. <laughs> May 2021. Yes, that's exactly what I need. Gonna open that one here. File open. Nope. All articulations. Open.
I don't know if this is going to work out. The the idea of this template. But I figured I would put like 20 hours to redo my template. Um, there you go. Perfect. F file. And then I would test it with, um, with like a real world project. And if I like it, I'll continue to use it. If not, I'll just trash it. So save multi as it's a big one. So here. Um, so now we're going to go to here. Mom templates contact. Um, and then, how is it called? Um, strings all art. Strings all articulations one b two. Let's call it this way. Save. Saving. How much time should you, in general, take if you want to build a bigger library? Because um, I use East West Opus. What do you mean? What do you mean, Lorenzo? How much time should you, in general, take? How much time should you take if you want to build a bigger library? Do you, do you mean a bigger template? Um, let me know. Can you clarify? Say multi us. Hey, Mark, would you recommend investing in CSS library collection? Or complete 13 yield ultimate I would say CSS my opinion they're great there may be a little bit uh, you know it takes a little bit you know getting used to it because the latency but they are Ready to go. Now we're gonna go here. Boom. Boom. So the strings all articulations one and two be two. I'm gonna move them here. And now I can go back here. And these are the strings all articulations. I'm going to create an uh, a track. It's gonna be an instrument track. It's gonna be here. And we're gonna go, come on, there you go. Here. Boom. And then now what we're going to do is um, we're going to open contact, move this here, load, and you're going to load uh, these strings or articulation one. Now, it's going to take, no, it's going to take a little bit. Oh, how much time, so so question from Lorenzo. How much time should they calculate when want to build a big template? Now, a big template can take like a week or so to build, honestly, because just, you know, like I'm doing this like 400, it's okay, maybe this will end being like a three, 400 tracks template. Um, and it's gonna take me like, like I don't know, I, I put the actual day three hours and today I may put like six, seven hours. I hope to have it done. Let's say twenty hours, for the sake of it. But uh, but I'm not I'm not creating it from scratch. I'm just replicating things that I had. Um, but um, but again, I don't like if you know exa like. Tell me, um, I'll continue. Tell me why. Why do you why do you want to build a template? Tell me, if you can. No, no, no worries. We're waiting here for for these two loads. So yeah, feel free to ask any question you want. Um, follow up question from you so, or I don't even know if my PC can handle 200, 300 tracks. I use an i7 9, 97 
1100 uh, K with 32 gigs of RAM. Uh, the problem is that my NVMe SSD broke and I had to use my HDD. Are there any tricks to speed up loading time? Oof. I would go, you know, I would re replace, I wouldn't replace the NVMe or buy an SSD drive. You don't need that, you know, that fast of a drive. Um, I use like a regular um, SSD drive for all my samples and I have no problem. Um, the faster, the better when it comes to load times. But if, uh, yes, there are with 32 gigs of RAM, you can have a 200, 300 trucks template. You're gonna, you're gonna have to do two things. Um, you, you'll have to purge your samples um, every time that you start a project. So maybe you're gonna have a template with all the samples purged and then you're gonna compose. And as you are composing, it's gonna load the samples. Um, and also you can, um, and then when you are done composing, you're gonna save that pro, you're gonna, the, you're gonna, the next project that you open is going to be uh, from, you know, the, the project that you have saved. So, so all the samples are purged again. That's the only for two, 300 tracks template. If you just have 32 gigs of RAM, I would go with, uh, um, with that, with that approach. And then um, enable, disable tracks that, that is going to give you more flexibility. Um, if you happen to have um, an old computer, you can, uh, you can use it as B Pro. I want to build a template because I noticed that whenever I create new tracks, I always use the same instruments which everything kind of sounds repetitive and not so unique. The, the problem with a template is that sometimes that's exactly what happens with a template is that because you have those tracks available, right? You always reach for the same tracks because they are there and you don't load new, new instruments. The template, the, the, the reason why people generally have a template is speed, right? The typical things that we always are going to need are there. And that's good to have. But uh, in every project or in every movie, um, usually we update the template with new Usually when a, like a movie, for example, a movie to me is like step number one, the concept, right? It's coming up with a concept, right? Then it's, it's writing the suite, right? And I write music for that project before actually writing two picture. It's just, I'll watch the movie and I'll, I'll come up with a, I'll, I'll compose like a four to 15 minute suite, something like this, where I'll come up with the sounds, the maybe the themes, the motives, right? The, the color. And then based on that, I may need to, add stuff to my template, right? And I usually have that at the top of my template. I still have my template that I, that I kind of keep evolves, but there are things that never change in my template. And then there are things that will change depending on the project. That, that is what was going to keep it fresh and unique for that specific project, that part here. And so generally having a template will not, um, well, it depends, maybe for you it does, but generally having a template will not make you explore new things. Generally, you'll have to add things to the template. Otherwise you will not be. Now, for some people, they are like, I'm gonna have all the instruments loaded or that that's what usually people think or I, that's the, 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 in, in my opinion, the mistake that I did when I started. Like I'm gonna create a template. And to me, a template, I thought that it was like, okay, what are the orchestral instruments? Well. We've got the piccolo, then we've got the flute, then we've got the oboe, then we've got the English horn, then we've got all these instruments, right? It's like, okay, I'm gonna load all the instruments, right? And the brass, the strings, everything, percussion. Turns out there are a lot of orchestral instruments. So I thought, oh, wow, that's gonna be a big template. And then when I loaded the piccolo, let's say, right? It's like, oh, do I load all the articulations in like a key switch type of patch? Or do I load the the articulation separately, right? Because the different approach, there's no, there's no, there's no good or bad or, or, or right or wrong. It's that there, I, there are composers that prefer having the split of articulations. There are some composers that prefer having the, the key switches. But, and so it's like, okay, uh, I, I generally I prefer having the split, right? Because then I can do overlaps and things like this and the stacking. Um, so, okay, piccolo, short staccato, mid staccato, long staccato, sforciato, right? Then trills, double tonguing, triple tonguing. Um, uh, then you're gonna have the legatos, uh, flutato, 
right? All these things, right? So I'm just 10 tracks just for the piccolo, right? If there are all these orchestral instruments, let's say 40 different types, right? Then we're gonna have 10 tracks, 400 tracks, right? Just worth, and the, and the and what about the effects, right? What about the, and, and this just, and so it just it becomes so big. And, and then we get to the flutes, right? Flutes, we've got all these 10 articulations, and then we've got also the two flutes, right? Because we can have one flute or we can have two flutes. And some libraries will have the first flute and the second flute. And then we'll have the two flutes playing all together. Same thing with the oboes, same thing with the, you know, and then we're gonna have these strings. We're gonna have a, a big string section and a small string section. And the truth is that, and then you, you will obviously run out of enough space, out of RAM, out of CPU power, whatever it is, right? Whatever comes first. Um, and so the truth is that there's no way you will ever have everything that you need, right? Because sometimes you're gonna be like, oh, um, I think what this needs is kind of like a, like a, kind of like a sul tasto, no, like sul ponticello tremolando on the violas for this darker time with a little, with a little bit of that eerie sound of the sul ponticello, right? Most likely you're gonna, you're not gonna have that patch loaded. Like it's rare if a library has that patch, but if you have that patch, it's rare that most likely you will not load that patch in your template because that's a very specific thing to have, right? And so there are so many things that you can do. Some libraries have these articulations, but you are not gonna load them in the template because if you are so, if you are that, if you are that granular, then your template's going to be huge. So my question, the question is like, how are you gonna plan? what things are gonna make it to your template and what things should not make it to your template. And it was like, with the things that you think that you will need in the future. The, the, the answer is you don't know. You don't know. So my recommendation is don't, don't create, don't build a template. Start with a small template, 16, 32 tracks, something that you know 100% that you're, that you're going to need. Then do the, your composing. It's like, what are the what, what are the things that are more useful for you, right? And the more you work in the, like, in the next project, in the next project, you're gonna be adding things in the template that prove to be useful, that prove to be um, of useful for you to have them there. And then I start growing the template from there, right? So for example, to me, I don't have like, for example, this part here. I'll, I'll explain this in a second. Uh, let me just load this. Mm, my PC. See all my samples in one in one disk, by the way. All um, so in my template there are some things that are the library. That's just this, the exact same thing that you've seen for the for the CSS. But there are, there are other sections that is not the library. It's a it's a it's a mixture of libraries based on the things that I think I'll need. Right? If you saw yesterday's uh, stream, uh, maybe you've seen. But I'll I'll show you what I mean. Hopefully this makes sense. And I'll read what you what you wrote. I'm gonna close this now. Uh, save. But for example, these strings. Uh, let's activate this guy. Table tracks. Let's save first one more time. Okay, cool. Enable tracks. So, the first track is you, you, you're not gonna see it. Um, the first track here is the kind of the strings staccato, like the strings ensemble staccato, and it is um, and it is from orchestral string runs, an old library. But I like the tone of that specific staccato for when I want a little bit more of a let's uh, it's, it's kind of like like pirates of the Car or more more like. Um, like a uh, certain type of like trailer repeated staccatos type of thing. So I like that for that type of sound. Then I've got this one I call a small staccatos. This is when I want a little bit of a thinner staccato. Then I've got violins um, in octaves staccato. This is from Albion. Uh, this is from Albion as well. Then I've got flaut, uh, violins flaut handle. Um, I, use it, I use this quite a bit in, for the type of music that I write. 
Um, this is from like the old Spitfire it's a stable, I think it's what it's called. Uh, but basically, this the Spitfire uh, strings here, right? Then I've got the uh, the, the st strings low staccato. This this patch here. And it's a combination of three things, right? It's Symphobia, um, Albion, and um, LA scoring strings, cello, spiccato, patch, right? So, um, so it's not like I'm loading, I bought a new library and I'm, I'm dumping it there and all the articulations. I build a template and then when I'm working on a project, like based on things that I need when I'm working on a project, it's like, oh, I wish I had this type of sound and I build the sound. Right, I tweak the patch. It's like this is useful, this is correct, and that, and then maybe it'll stay in my template. Maybe not, right? But that is what is going to make it sound like like me. It's like my sound, right? Because so that to me is what a template is. A template is a series of instruments or sounds that you have loaded here that make it easier for you to write the type of music that you usually right that's what a template is it's not buying a library and and and, and loading all the patches no because most likely you're not going to use 80 percent of what you load because you, you don't know hopefully i made my point hopefully it makes sense um but for sure uh, yes a template is going to speed up your process but i generally to me a template is a series of kind of like pre um it's 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 obviously yes a series of like standard articulations for sure i've got plenty of these but also something that's very important for me in a template is also having pre-orchestrated multi multis because like stuff like the strings that you just saw it's, it's a group of strings like this the, the lowest staccato is a group of strings right um and there's a little bit of a you know uh, stacks and things that are going to create that sound. I have things like uh, timbasos, tuba, and timpani because it's something that allows me to add that kind of like brass and aggression to a specific type of style for like action high intensity, something like this, right? And instead of having to write the timbasos and then the tuba and then the timpani, it's a very typical group. Um, and in the, for the style of music that I write, I use often, often, so it's there and it's balanced and it's pan, it's position and it's perfect, right? And I tweaked it to, um, I'll have some stuff like obviously violins one and two in octaves, you know, this is, is, is such a common thing to, to have uh, for like kind of like cinematic or casual music or just or casual music in general. So it's, so yes, as I was saying, in your template, you will have a standard articulations, but also you will have kind of like the pre-orchestrated, patches and also i like to have performance type of patches patches that will do the thing for you right the swell or the uh, or the repetition right like the, i'm talking about the the timpani swell for example right or the or the for example the like the four repetitions, right? Mm. Right. Anyway, hopefully I made my point across. I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna continue. So I'm gonna gonna close all these that I showed because we don't need this. So I'm gonna um, disable tracks. So CSS, we've done CSS, and now we just load it as we were talking. It's a good question. So now we're gonna go for where is it? Where did they put the track? Oh, I forgot here. Yes. Cool. All right. So we're gonna make this small. And we've got that, nah, in fact, so um, ha I'll have to duplicate how many, we've got 16, I guess. Yes, makes sense, 16, cool. So we're gonna duplicate this 16 times. So, <laughs> something that I learned yesterday. So if, if I duplicate this, right, I'm gonna duplicate. 
it's gonna take just a little bit, right? Because it has to load everything again. It's no big deal because it's it's loaded in RAM, so it's gonna load fast, no problem. But it has to read all this, and boom, now it's gonna duplicate it. Boom, here. But if instead of that, you disable the track, so I'm gonna disable these two tracks. Now, as soon as they are disabled, Now I can duplicate these guys, duplicate tracks, boom, duplicate tracks. So uh, 4, 8, 16. And obviously I'll have to, I'll have to enable these tracks, which in a way, you know, it's like loading it again, but hey. So, um, come on. So, come on, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy. I'll explain this, paste. For now, I'll, I'll leave it the exact same way. Copy, paste. That's it, all right. Um, so, this is the exact opposite of what I meant of what I what I what I just explained, right? Here I have the standard articulations, right? So these just basically strings, right? And I've got everything or almost everything of what what I like the standard articulation for strings. Because I'm gonna use them. I know that I'm gonna use them. So in this case, what I've got what we've got here is violins, um, long notes. Then we've got short notes, short notes close, and short notes very close, or short notes, short notes closer sound and very close sound. And then we've got the, the pizzicato con leño and the harmonics. Simple as that. So we're gonna start here. So this one, I'm gonna get rid of everything. Oh, it's so nice when it does not ask to save. That is great. Now careful with this, because we're gonna get rid of this. Go back to page, go back to page two. Oof. I don't know why it goes back to page one. It's annoying, but it's what it is. Oh, and by, by the way, I forgot, oh. Should have done this at the beginning. But I don't. I'm not too worried about this. Cool. All right. So yes. Um, okay. Short. So this for the long notes. figure this out later but this should that's okay um okay cool purge this one more time just for the sake of it boom ah next um enable Hey, that 
Damjan, so why are you switching from BE Pro to Instrument Track 1PC only? Sorry if you answered this question earlier. Yes, I answered this uh, at the beginning of the video and the years today, but real quick while this loads, um, just basically, I wanted to try a simpler system. Um, because um, I, I'm trying to achieve three things. First, um, I'm, I'm trying to make things a little bit faster and more efficient and trying to bring the latency down. And for this, like the switching from BE Pro to here, um, it's not what's gonna achieve that. I'm gonna simplify a few things, especially this, um, the way I do, the way I've got my, my stems set up, which is here with all these plugins that I've got, got here. I'm gonna uh, replace all these uh, kind of like fancier expensive plugins with like stock plugins. Um, I think I can achieve the same result. I'm pretty sure of that. Um, I was just speaking with Dennis, uh, with Dennis Sands the other day. Um, it's a mixing engineer for Avengers, uh, Doctor Strange tool, Back to the Future, uh, Forrest Gump. And he was like, uh, and he did a course with us in the past mixing for composers. Um, and it's a course where he teaches, you know, how to mix orchestral music. And it's great. And, uh, but it's 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 a it can be a little bit advanced for those who are starting out. And I was just speaking with him to kind of like de develop a second course instead of using you know expensive fancy plugins, using stock plugins. And he said, "I've got a better idea. What about mixing without plugins? Because the truth is like 80 percent of the mixing happens before loading any plugin with the balancing, positioning, depth, all of all of that." Um, so you could argue that just with balance, panning, and a little bit of reverb, then you could have, you could you could do eighty percent of your mix, and that's that, that was his point, and uh, it's a great idea. And so, um, I think that, you know, when using these plugins, yes, there's there's a small little nuance in that, that they'll do, but they start, like if you want if you want like a, an analog saturation type of plugin or a tape saturation, an EQ, you can do the same thing that using a, a that the, the UAD plugins, let's say, do with the stock plugins, or very close, very, very close if you know how to use them. And also they're more efficient because they are they are built for QH in this case, and so it's gonna make my my uh, my template more efficient. That's the first thing that I want to do. And the, the second thing why I'm switching from, you know, from big to small, let's say, is because, um, you know, I enjoy having this very much, right? When I'm composing, I've been I've built this over the years. But when I'm teaching, sometimes it's overwhelming for the students because they they can they cannot start here, right? I've been doing this for 12 years. I got here. It's not that I started here the first day. And so I want to do something and work with something that gives me the flexibility of do what I do when I'm composing for movies, but also so the students can relate, right? It's like okay, this is chewable, right? Or or, or it's closer to than what I have at the moment. So that's the second thing. Um, and the third thing I wanna, if, if hopefully, if it's a little bit more portable, you know, and I can uh, work with this and also like a MacBook Pro, um, then that, that would be nice as well. Hopefully this is a short answer to your question or shorter answer. All right, cool. So I'm gonna get rid of all this. All right, boom. Contact is nice, it's great, but it's a lot of clicking. There's no way to like, can you imagine if you could like select uh, a group of patches? Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm, um, maybe uh, I don't know how to do it and I'm being um, dumb, but like if you could select a group of patches and change things in a, like a, in a group type of thing. All right, three. I'm not explaining how I configured these uh, these patches, but you can. You can see. Oops. I'll explain. I'll explain this in a second. The violins and then violins one and then everything else just kind of like replicates the same. And I'll show you how it sounds. Um, so, OK, cool. So now we've got Violins 1, see? And it's kind of like the Violins 1. And it's so this is this, um, a finished scene strings. So Violins 1, kind of like the, huh? What? Oh, 
Oh yeah. Uh, so bio is one, and I'm just using these. Uh, nah, let me just close this. I'll explain why. So, so, so for articulations, we've got the short notes. Uh, sorry, the kind of the, the typical stage sound, close sound, and super close. Oh, I messed up. So one. Sorry. Room. Okay, this 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 belongs here. I think. Let me see. One, two, three. This is C. This is C. Yes, that's correct. C. And this, I think I would have this one. I made a mistake. I'm gonna have to du duplicate this one. Come on. There you go. Duplicate tracks. Perfect. All right, cool. Oh. I wish you could un undo. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be awesome? Crap. All right, do the same thing again. Duplicate track. C, B, delete. Enable, track. Delete this first. Boom. 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 Great. Okay. Now it's one, two, three, three. One. Six, seven, eight, nine, three. Great. Cool. And now it's going to be one, 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 one. Great. Cool. All right. So I'm going to explain what we've got here. So let's see. I know it's too loud. I have to. <laughs> this library is always super loud. Right, cool and then finally ah, cool so basically what we've got is the typical strings or violins one staccato sound which is the room mics the deca tree basically the typical I know there's uh, the, the noise of the low rumble we'll get rid of that we'll filter that later the um, typical uh, scene strings type of sound I like it very much uh, it's kind of like the what you would hear like if you'd be there um, Right? 
go a little bit closer now kind of like the um, close mics right and a little bit of the room sound like if, if this is like if you instead of conducting from like the podium right like if you the step closer to the violins one section like almost there with them right not completely try obviously, because this is still the same room and we have a little bit of the room mics. Um, and now, so this is typical sound, close sound, which sometimes for layering or for stacking, things like this could be useful. And then there's the, the latest scoring strings, very close type of sound. Completely different. You're like, what is this? But sometimes for stacking, for definition, This is the staccato, the staccato, it, and I know it sounds very weird, but sometimes so by itself it's not good. Also, what I like about this one is that it is built like this. So, if I press one note, one, two, three, four patches. So it's a spiccato. Uh, so sorry, it's the first turn A, B, and C, right? If I do two notes, it's gonna split the the, the two. This one and this one are gonna do the, the the upper note, and this one is gonna do the the lower note. If I do three. It's gonna split the three of them. So it's a smaller sound. It's like a DBC spiccato sound, right? So the section is gonna sound thinner. That's what I want. So sometimes it's good. Instead of, um, in, in this case, this one, um, the, the far sound or the room sound, when I do two of them, now I've got eight violins or 10 or 10 violins. If I have the two notes, like if I had 20 violins, right? So 20 violins, right? Which is a typical, like more cinematic type of sound or samples where we, when we do two notes, we double the number of instruments. Which is what sometimes we expect, but it's sometimes it's not what we want or what we need or not the realistic, yes, or not the realistic type of sound. All right, so, so uh, having options, basically, that's what I've got. Now I'm gonna load everything else um, and I know in comparison it's like, but again, this is very useful for when uh, stacking or layering, right? So that's it. Hopefully it makes sense. Enable track and I label, enable these two tracks. Um, you know what? I'm going to duplicate this guy instead so I don't have to delete so much. Yes, that's, no, sorry, I, I, no. Enable track. I'm a little bit slow today. This is late for me. It's 3 p.m. Um, we wake up at 4 a.m. 4 a.m. And uh, and I um, I did um, teaching at six. Um, so I I started working on a kind of like you know, composing a few things for the movie that's starting the 16th, um, from like four to six. Then I did a little bit of uh, teaching six to eight, uh, and then uh, in the six to seven, we take the kids, um, you know, wake up the kids, take them to school. And at eight, I had the class um, with Javier Navarrete that went for four hours. And so now I had dinner, I uh, had lunch, and now I'm, I'm here. And I'm very happy, I'm just, uh, I, I feel that, you know, go a little bit slower. I make mistakes. 
as you can see. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying, please for, forgive me if I make mistakes. I'm not that dumb, usually. Uh, Alright, cool. So this is going to be a very spizzicato, and this is after the alias current strings, so boom, here. I'm gonna close these guys, get rid of these guys. Boom, 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 boom. And then there's gonna be number one. And now we're gonna go here very carefully deleting this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. Perfect. Cool. Pizzicato. This guy. <laughs> is this guy here so I'm gonna I'm gonna delete this page first and then boom 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 alias scoring strings pizzicato I'm gonna leave the Onyx, boom, 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 this one, and this one, and with this, the end, with this, It works. So, violins. Let's do the rest. I, I, I'll do less talking. Hey, Mark, little tip. Please, for these uh, enable disable uh, templates, it speeds up the workflow significantly if you put the command onto a single key. Exactly. Ah, I have it in the yes key. Saves you tons of right clicking. Makes sense. Yes, I have to do it. Thanks. Thanks, Dirk. Should we do this now? Let's do it now. Would be nice to then see your approach to balancing this template. Yes, we'll do that in a second. Yeah, I uh, know. I was just uh, thank you. Um, it's not that I was looking for the key commands. I was reading this comment. See what you are doing this. Uh, this live people come here and will say things like your mom just went to bed with your dog, and they don't even realize that uh, that uh, YouTube will flag and uh, it won't show this, uh, these comments. People have a lot of time. They don't know, they don't know what to do with their time. All right, cool. And so, yes, um, let's do this. Boom, boom, boom. And this is an enable, number, number, enable. Or enable tablet track. Enable. Here you go. Okay. Okay. Which one should we do? I'm thinking. Um, maybe. Maybe I'll go with. Um, let me see. Where's my laser? Hello. 
50. I'm very low. It's not here, right? Crafter. Naga. Where is your crafter? Dang. I know that I have to sign this first, but let's. Uh, R, R, R. Anyway, for now we're gonna do yeah, same same one that you have. Boom, boom. Mm, assign. Quantize. Mm, no, 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 no. Um, then we're gonna do gonna do. Uh, so when I'm doing this, mm, usually it's going to be like. Be close here. Okay, okay of course. That's something. Cool. Let's do this for now. It works. You can do also T for track. Yeah. I, I was looking for something that was close to where was it? Close to right when I'm so I'm usually I'm thinking when when I'm composing I'll use. So it's like I would select a track, I would hit something, right? And then I start composing. Right? And so when I'm composing I'll have I'll have uh, where's it? come on, show. Okay, cool. I've got the keyboard, right? And I've got this guy. I put it up here. It's a foot switch. Uh, this basically does um, two. It does um, basically press. It, it's two space bar clicks, right? So click and click. That's what when I press this guy. That's what it does. It's it's right. It's, it's here. And so when I'm composing, I would click this track. I would cl click something that's close. <laughs> It's close to to this guy here, mm, like so. I would select the track, and so something that's here where I've got my hand. So B B is good. So I'll hit B, and then I would do the composing right. And the way I do it is, uh, and I'm like, and I'm like, no, it doesn't work. Then I. I Click this and it's a space bar, which is like stops, right? Goes back to the initial position and then again, that's what it does. And then I'll record again. When I have a good take, then I'll hit R, which is retrospective record. And so. So V, it's not close. We'll see. It works for now. I'll assign something here. I'll assign something here. That's what I'll do. Um, but uh, for whatever reason, it was not showing up. The the Razor Naga here. A couple of things got deinstalled for. I don't know. Anyway, um, let's continue. So B. Ah! Yeah, it was about time. Thanks, Dirk, for pushing me. Put that on a stream deck button and you're golden. I still don't use this stream deck for composing. I should. I have nothing assigned here for composing. I should, right? I don't know. There's precious real estate here. I use it for streaming. My OBS, my other OBS. It was lag things. Uh, it's for video, mostly. I don't know. Um, yeah, I should use it for, for this. Anyway. So, uh, so uh, violence harmonics. Now, let's go with violence 2. So, get, uh, I'm going to get rid of, Let's see what we've got here. Violence 2, great. Okay, violas. We're going to get rid of the violas. Now, this is going to be the, what, the, the legatos, right? Um, so... 
for now, what I'm going to do is uh, viola. I'm going to get rid of the violas. 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 And then what I'll do is violas and violas. And then I'll duplicate this track. Violas and violas. Now we're going to get rid of the violins one. So all of them. Violins one. Dos, tres, cuatro. Violins one and violins one. Cool. All right. And now I'm going to move this down below. I could duplicate this. So this is violin two. Violin two, whatever thing it is. Now I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've got one. So I'm going to duplicate this, duplicate track. And then I'll have to delete less things. Duplicate two and six. Small one for streaming, yeah. And uh, and another one. Uh, I have a small one for streaming and the Excel for dog control. Makes sense, makes sense. All right, close, open. Okay, so now what we're gonna have is we have this. Now we're gonna have these. Copy, paste, copy, paste. Copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. All right. Now, um, so this is going to be articulation. This is seven, eight, eight. Great. Seven. It's going to be one. I'll do the balancing later. Then we're gonna have this guy. So you're gonna be get rid of this guy with no one, two. Okay. So one. Feel free to suggest things. I learn so much from you guys. I'm not like I can use Cubase, but I'm not an expert. I was uh, I was good with logic, and then I stopped using it. And I forgot everything. But I, I what I what I mean is that I just I know the th the things in Cubase that I'm that I use over and over again. The things that are useful for me. But I will also say that there are there are things that I don't know. And some people's like, hey, do that instead. And I'm like, oh crap, <laughs> I didn't know I could. Um, also, I'm very bad at multi multitasking. So, talking, doing something else, and talking, not good. Also, I'm an introvert. So, when talking, it lowers every like it, it just it just um, overloads my CPU. Okay. Yeah, I agree with that uh, with Dirk Michael. As long as you don't go beyond sixteen, the, the way I have like if you want if you want to have one of these big, um, one of these big, uh, B pro instances where you're gonna have some multiple contacts. See one contact, another contact here, and um, and so each contact will have a, a different 
port, see, port one, sorry, come on, you can do this, port one, port two, port three, and then the output of this contact, you're gonna output to each one of these auxes kind of thing, and then from this aux to Cubase. Uh, and the way that this is set up in Cubase, I didn't know you could do this like a couple of years ago, right? And someone, someone else was like, yeah, this is, and it's like, oh crap. And I had the smaller instances in the past. And so the way you have this set up in Cube in, uh, in Cubase is this, see, this MIDI instrument here is, um, so MIDI instrument about one, see up here, very small, very small, uh, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. Seven, ten, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, and then boom. This is one again, but this is assigned to um, to port C, MIDI in two, MIDI in three, MIDI in four, and this is something that you set up. You, that is in the Dirk's Dirk's channel explains this very very well. If you look for uh, you know setup template BE Pro, he's got a video from like I think it's 2019 or 17 or where he explains. And what I like very much is that he explains before you start do this right, and you have to set this up. Um, but I think it's here. I forgot. Um, see MIDI port four, that's that's here. And then in the receiver on the other on the other side, right in your B Pro server. And then you have to do something similar as well. Let's see if I can do this. Uh, transport options, uh, being an instruments, is it an edit? Pro, pro, uh, settings, I get, no, crap. Um, options, preferences, options, preferences. Uh, and here is where you're going to set up all these things, instances, there you go, 48, 96, uh, MIDI ports, uh, audio outputs and all this. He explains it way better than me. Duplicate, okay. Duplicate track, I should have a key command as well, okay. Let's, let's do that. Um, I'm gonna have, boom. I know what I'm gonna have. Rock, come on, duplicate, do. Duplicate track is going to be something like this. Duplicate, yes, sign. Oh, come on. Come on. No, okay. What is that? Not great. Too much. What? Um, what do you have? D. Obviously, this is not gonna work. Console. Console. Okay, Alt D. Okay. All right. Let's continue. Now, um, this one can activate. Oh, there you go. <laughs> no right clicking. So now uh, we're going for the violas. So I'm gonna open this. Boom, 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 boom. Violence to articulation. Violence to create. Violence to boom. I haven't saved for a while. Violence to boom. Now save. Close. Now it's gonna be viola, and I'm gonna create three duplicates. One, and two.
All right, cool. So this is going to be the first one. Uh, so Viola, Viola, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. In case that you are wondering what this bow, B A O things mean, thing means, um, is this I'll explain in a second. So it's going to be Viola articulation. It's going to get rid of this this and one two three four um it has um cinematic uh scene strings has this thing that how is it called uh how should we spell it? um yes um you forgot there you go where is it I'll explain this later but basically uh, there's um you've got the legato and if you hit very hard, like 120, 127 or something like this, then it will um, overlay, bow attack overlay here. There you go. Spiccato or sforciato or all of this. Uh, bow attack, bow attack overlay, which is not active here. Here, exactly. Exactly. Then the controller is nine, which is this one here. Uh, which one is it? Oh, I. Yes. There you go. And with this guy, you can see. You can change from disabled to spiccato, staccato, marcato, forchando. Ah, that's it. And so you can have your legato. And then activate this. Right? And do things like this. So you can like have a legato and a spiccato or a legato and a... So, Marcato or staccato, whatever it is. Right, it's for Chando. And you can overlay that on top of the legato if you want to. If it's very short, then it's gonna feel like uh, just like spiccato, right? Because the legato attack is so slow that you won't even hear it. So you can do a lot of things. Um, it takes that, uh, you know. Um, sometimes it proves useful. Sometimes. Sometimes it's, uh, it's a little bit complicated to use. So you go, disabled, generally. Cool, all right. So that's it. This guy, this guy. Out, 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 out. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. One, two. One, two, three, four. This is going to be one. I always ask this question, but um, other than obviously saving and loading each one of these patches again in the first page, is there any way to move the patches from page two to page one? I'll leave it there. If anyone knows. There you go, okay, cool. So, yes, and the awful sounding one, two, the melee scoring string spiccato sounds very dry and sometimes like, what? But, for 
sometimes is, um, is useful for stacking. Now, next, um, what I have to note here is, I'm gonna get rid of all these now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of all these. Delete, remove. My camera is out of focus. Ah, focus. Where is it? Not that far. Focus. There you go. All right, cool. Now camera switch. Ha. All right. Cool. Thank you. Um, do you ever worry about negative delays? Of course, I worry about negative delays. 100%, all the time. Everything is negative delayed. Um, not, not yet. It's another thing, another thing that I have to do. But look at this. That's uh, the next thing that I've got to do. Uh, but look down, uh, but down here, my template, or my main, my main template, see. Um, strings basics, for example, so. Minus 12, minus 25, minus 12, minus 3. That's something I still have to do. Thanks for reminding me. I actually forgot. Now, let's go back up here. So we've got viola, and now we're going to create a new instrument. There you go. And now here, we're going to load, load, recent, load. Uh, it's going to be a strings, all articulations. Two. Version two, open. That's gonna take a little bit. No. Yes. Yeah, sometimes I split my articulation. Sometimes I don't. But when I don't, um, I at least split short and long. Yes. More questions. What is the biggest difference between Logic and Cubase? Kind of the same thing. One is uh, one is Mac, the other one is Mac and PC. I like Logic. I like. Um, I've used both. They are great, both of them. Again, um, there are certain things that I like about Cubase. That's why I switched when I switched. Um, um, I went from Logic to Sonar, Cakewalk, and from Sonar to Cubase. I tried Reaper, and then I came back to Cubase. There are a couple of things that are nice here. I like the, you know, the, just the show tracks uh, with data and show tracks with data in the course of position that you can do with other sequencers as well, but it's the way it's laid out here is very easy. I like the, the search, the, the control F, where you've got a big template uh, so you can search for the track. I thought that was the thing that made me switch, actually, the search um, capability. But then I don't use it that often. If I'm if I'm honest, it's just scroll and find a track. So I like that. Um, um, I missed from Sonar the, I missed at the beginning from Sonar the kind of like safe track template and being able to load groups of tracks that are already pre-routed. And the, for example, you would you could uh, you could load a group of tracks with you know with the with the sampler loaded and the plugins loaded and with the routing done. And if the bus that they were hitting was not there created, it would create it for you. So that was pretty neat. That was that was great. So you could start with a small template. And if you need a specific group of tracks that you've got saved, then just load them. Now um, uh, a little bit later, Cubase implemented it. I think it was in, in version 10.5 or 11. Um, so, like pretty much, like all the sequencers do the same things. And when they, when they, there's one that does something new, um, and it's it, it is it proves being useful for the community, and like the other sequencers will implement it, you know, in a couple updates. There you go. Good timing. I have all my samples in one drive. Oops. Here, seven terabyte samples. So whenever, like in this case, I could have selected Cine, Cine samples. 
But no, actually there are two libraries here, Cine samples and the latest scoring string. So I just select the drive and the uh, content will find them. Cool. Nice. This is gonna purge everything. All right. How many pages? Oh, got the runs here. Oh yeah. Uh, all right. SSD drive. Yes, SSD drive. Do you have a do you have advice for an, an easy workflow when you have uh, your articulations split? For example, if you have a complicated string passage that requires many quick changes. So, um, yeah. I'll, so sometimes, sometimes we we try to think. We try to think things logically when it comes to composing with samples, and but then the, there's there's an there's a non-obvious solution. Sometimes it's like okay, I I need I need, um, you know, I need fast legatos here, and then I have to switch to staccatos, right? And 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 maybe you've got like a lot, and that that's the two the two articulations. And you're trying things, but it doesn't sound quite. And sometimes you can like you can use like a patch like the LAS scoring strings where they've got the the legato with the like the how is it called? This the legato with the overlay. This this guy here. The oh I messed up. Oh man, should have done this. It's the marcato, right? With the spicato overlay. This guy, the Mercato with the Spicato overlay, and with you can do. Right? And just with one patch. So just with one patch, there's a lot of uh, flexibility here, right? Because you've got the, you've got the, you can do the, the, the fast legato sort of thing, which is like the marcato. On top of that, you've got the, if you press harder, but still do the notes legato, you can, what am I doing? Yeah. Um, you can still, um, you can kind of like add like a, like a more aggressive attack with the spiccato on top of the marcato legato, right? And if you do short notes, you then you're just gonna have the spiccato, right? So there's a lot there. Obviously, we don't have trills, we don't have, in the, we don't have trills, we don't have tremolos here in this, this particular patch. And if you wanted to do that, then we would have to key switch or split if you've got, if you've got the split of the articulations. So I try to I I try to simplify it as much as possible. So if I if I can do it in one using just one uh, patch, then I'll do it. But I like to but 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 when it's a little more complicated and I need to split, I then I'll split. Simple as that. So but um but I messed up because I did this wrong. Um, this actually uh, is more like this. So okay. What I'm doing is fixing this. Because this is not short notes, even though it could be. And maybe. Ten minutes. Cool. All right. Okay, safe. Let's keep going. So, um, so we've got viola, and now we've got this guy here, where we've got the this guy, and now we're going to duplicate. 
duplicate them. And how many trucks we're gonna have. Viola, so we're gonna have the viola one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, exactly. Okay, sixteen then. Um, I'm gonna duplicate a few, and then, well, in fact, I'm gonna start with this one, and uh, I'm gonna get rid of the page two. Let's say, which is the most annoying. Should do. And this will give me the. Great. This gives me viola, telos, and basis. And basis. I think basis is uh, cool. AB. Perfect. So this is going to give me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. All right. So I'll duplicate eleven times this guy here. This guy, I'm gonna move this here. I just need to not get confused. So duplicate. Duplicate. How are, we, how are we doing? Oh, oh, this has increased a lot. You guys, thirty-three. Oh, Adobe. No, sorry, no, that's that's, that's megabytes. Google. Okay. And uh, duplicate. For for mixing, so question from Michael. And for mixing, can I ask if you've got the, um, your output set for? Yes, for mixing, I have uh, several options, right? If I, someone is mixing the music for me, I'll just export the tracks, all the tracks, right? I'll just make um, to export all the tracks. That's it, uh, and they will mix. That's it. If I'm doing the mixing, because usually I'll I'll need to move fast. Um, I've got a, a, a set of stems, so yes, I'll have things like strings high short strings high long strings low short strings low long same thing for woods and brass maybe or maybe simplified i'll, I'll show you th i'll show this in a second uh, but on my tracks and uh, here at the end my stems see this group of stems so i'll just when i'm done composing i'll just hit a i'll select my stems here and i'm done right select all the stems that i want to export and boom that export them and you'll see the separation here in the strings, as I said, right? Now separate the strings, runs, things like this. Then same thing for brass, woods, a little bit of separation. I've got piano, choir. I've got a few auxiliars. Then I've got the percussion, high, mid, low, sub bumps, timpani. I like to separate the timpani. Whoops, crap. Oh, sorry. Always happens. Um, so yeah, ensemble, kind of like the orchestra, like the strings ensemble, or orchestra ensemble, like brass ensemble, so short, long, and so percussion, then strings, the, what I said, same thing with uh, kind of like the brass, uh, woods, piano, choir, few auxiliars, um, just for, for flexibility, arp, and then percussion high, mid, low, and to so bomb, I like to have the cymbal roll and the timpani separated, an auxiliar for percussion, and then kind of like the trailer or the hybrid stuff, punches, hits, kicks, downers, effects high low it's, it's all these things loops high loops low pulsing mid high uh, high mid low and that's it and then all these stems 
are one more time routed to a smaller group of stems of orchestra percussion synths lead bass other. This group of stems are used for mixing. If I'm doing the mix myself, and the, when I'm, and the, if 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 there is no mixing, because it's kind of like a TV movie, like 60 minutes of music, 30 days. There's no much time, or there's no budget to have someone doing the mixing for you. I'll do the, I'll do I'll mix as I'm composing. I'll always mix as I'm composing. The mixing is the next stem that the next stage that's gonna elevate your music, make it sound bigger more cinematic um so it's just perfecting of um and so it's it's something that i'll do most of the times but if it's a project like a tv movie where there's not a big budget you can't actually hire a mixing engineer to perfect your music um, the mixing happens as i'm composing and that's it then i'll uh, but i will export the stereo track yes and uh, or the five one or whatever but i will also export these six stems, orchestra, percussion, synth, lead, bass, other, um, for the DAP, for the mixing engineer, basically, uh, for the, when, when they are mixing their music with the dialogue and sound effects, for them to have stems, so they have a little bit of flexibility. If there's something in the way with the dialogue, they can bring down that musical stem instead of bringing down your entire mix. Cool. Let's continue. So I duplicated this how many times? One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, with no, there, on the 11. Okay, cool. Duplicate. Yeah. All right, so now I'll use this one later, but for now, what I'm going to do is mm, viola, harm, viola, this one, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy. How many? Really? Uh, cello. Oh yeah, cool. So we got the pizzicato, violoncello, pizzicato, leg. Oh, I don't have. See, okay, I didn't do the. So then we've got um, viola pizzicato. Yes. So get rid of all these. Great. Close harmonics. Get rid of the first one. Change two to one. And then get rid of everything else. Great, close. Now we're gonna go with the uh, with cello, cello section, and then we're gonna change this three to one. This is the MIDI channel in, and get rid of all these. Great, much faster. Great. Okay, now with the uh, cello articulation, this is gonna be so. I'm gonna close this viola and the cello. Articulations mark. Okay, this is me. Yeah, that is correct. It's the right mics. Cool. And a short close. So it's going to be the one that's below mark. So delete this one. Open. Yes, that is the correct mic position. Get this one off all this. And 
now we're going to do the lace crown strings. Okay. Great. And it's going to be one. 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 And one and one. One. Close. Okay, the one below the uh, and the scoring strings. Pizzicato, that is correct. If I don't make any mistake, uh, I'll be so happy. Okay, now this is the double basis. So delete, delete. One, and then we need the rest. Great, and then our chip. So this is the second base patch. Delete the first one, change the number to this one. And then this is the third base patch. This one. And this is the uh, LA scoring strings one. First chair A B. Great. Okay. And we're always gonna try these things. Violas, great. Harmonics, great. Marcello. Short, uh, close, great, and then super close. Remember when, um, in two thousand and ten, when they released this library, uh, two thousand and nine, I think it was. Uh, LA scoring strings the first time that um so this spiccato this is not really spiccato um it's a wrong naming but uh, but they they call it the spiccato it's the first time that we hear such a oops It's a nice sample, short, aggressive, fast. It's great. It's great for layering with all the like bigger sounding uh, staccatos, like more room sounding. You add this and that aggression and definition and attack and bite to the sound. It's great. All right, um, pizzicato. Cool. And double bass. Short, short close, short super close. Whoops, sorry. Hey. I don't know why I don't have this instead. Useful is this. This is very useful. Cool. All right. 
yes and now we're gonna bring up this guy so we can finish up with the rest of the strings now we are in page two come on yes great I'm gonna get rid of all this Um, so we've got these guys and how many tracks are we going to need? I think five uh, One two three four five. Yes, because we had eleven and so um, Yeah, duplicate Oh, Key command please great. Thanks Dirk Duplicate And duplicate and what we are going to have now is this guy. This guy. This guy. This guy. This guy. This guy. All right, we're getting there. All right, so double bass. Um, oh man, had this picado on the other side, this picado C on the other page. <laughs> um, how do I do this? Oh man, bummer. I have to do to open this, uh, load. Yeah, I have to do this. Load or load recent uh, strings or articulations. Um, yeah, open. Before I do that, let me just get rid of this. Load recent strings or articulations. This guy, yes. Bup, 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 yes. No. Questions. Questions. It's 1 a.m. here and got the school at 8 a.m. Good night. Good night, Lorenzo. Thanks for staying up for so long. More. Um, I see you have. Um, yes, Edna World. Yeah, instruments and voices. Would you recommend those libraries for fantasy style music? Yeah, yeah. Edna World, yeah. Um, and then, hey, Mark, where can I listen your music? My website. Because on your website, the audio player doesn't work. Ah! <laughs> or maybe it's about my browser. Do you have SoundCloud, etc.? Yes. Just a Google Mark Giovanni SoundCloud. Are you a good pianist, Mark? I studied piano. I'm not a good pianist anymore. Um, but I can, I can use the keyboard for composing. I'm not that great at any anymore, but um, I'm worried about my website. Um, is it broken? Look at this! Oh my goodness! So broke, so broken. Why? Oh. oh, I have to fix this. Man, thank you. <laughs> Look at this. It's broken. I don't know why. I uh, don't know why. Fix this later. I'll remind myself. Where is it here? Where is it? Here. Mark. Fix. Website. Oh man, this is bad. It's not that bad. If you weren't making a video or live streaming, would you usually use uh, your monitor when creating music or uh, or you're comfortable using the your 650s most of the time? Oh, um, your yeah, speakers, headphones. Um, 
both. I use both. I'll use both. Um, yeah, when I'm composing, I'll use the speakers. Um, and um, gives a little bit of a better representation. Um, sp when, it, when it comes to spacing, it's, uh, it's a little bit easier. Um, because I need, to, I, need, I need to take a peek. Yeah, use the speakers. Um, okay, so real quick, not to go too in detail because I'm gonna continue. But speakers, headphones, combination of both. Sometimes I'll use the uh, the, the headphones if I if I can't do you know uh, noise. Um, in the past, you know, this is the first time that I live in a house. Um, in the past, you know, I would live in a, an apartment and you can be very loud. So headphones. Also, they are more portable, obviously, and so I use them. Um, and I trust them, and I know exactly how they sound. I know their, um, uh, you know, their limitations of these specific ones, um, and I know how to correct them. I also use SonarWorks reference uh, for these and for and for the speakers as well, because um, this room is tr as treated, but it's not perfect. So this, this, there's a couple of notes notes that, that are a little bit problematic. That's it. All right, cool. Are you gay? No. <laughs> uh, it's the same guy. You know what? Bye-bye. Um, hello, Mike. I don't get um, sold out synchronous strings. Um, character synchronous strings. Uh, character is always called um, when you want emotional strings but don't want to mix libraries, then go with cinematic studio strings. I don't know. Um, the strings that I like are. Um, I use Speedfire. I used the Speedfire quite a bit. Not that much anymore. Um, use uh, Cine samples. There are people that like them. People that hate them. Um, I use them. Um, nothing against them. I think they sound. They sound. They sound good. I like uh, CSS. Lately, I'm using them more and more. That's it. Cool. Let's continue. Uh, bases. So, oh yeah, yeah, so I'm fixing this. Right, cool. Oh, that's what we were doing. All right. uh, browse, got everything in one drive, so I'm gonna keep seven terabytes. Okay, I'll take a pee, meanwhile. So I'll leave you here with the screen. Be back in a sec.
Ah, oh, crap, sorry. Well, I wasn't saying anything special. Yes, muted, sorry, thanks. Right, um, what else? Um, yes. Let's go here. All right, cool. No. All right, so one copy, paste, copy, paste, copy. Paste. And now let's do pizzicatos. Copy. Paste. Monix. Copy. Paste. And then be all violin two. Copy. Paste. Violin two. Second one. Copy. Paste. Violin two. The third one. Copy. Paste. Violin to the one before the pizzicato, copy, paste. Violin to pizzicato, copy, paste. Violin to harmonics, copy, paste. Let's move this here. Now to viola, viola, copy, paste. Then viola, the second one, copy. Paste. Viola. Third one. Copy. Paste. Viola. The one before the pizzicatos. Copy. Paste. Then we're gonna have viola, pizzicato, and con legno. Paste. And then we're gonna have viola. Um. Oop. Something went wrong here. Viola, the last one, copy, paste. Now we're going to do Viola Pizzicato one more time, just in case we have. Okay, now we're going to do Viola Harmonics. Copy, paste. All right, cool. We're going to close this. want to place this after the Viola. So we can copy paste again. F3. Okay, cello. Copy. Paste. 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 Crap. I want to copy. Paste. Copy, paste, Jim Rams. Copy, paste, Violin Rams. Copy, paste, Cello all basis Rams. Paste. Rips. Paste. All right. Let's bring these guys together and bring them when they where they belong. And they were just gonna be here below the CSS. Gonna make create a folder for them. Folder. And these gonna be strings. All articulations kind of thing. Just the name. And we're gonna move all of this here. And the color is gonna be 
kind of like orange. Oh, all right. It's great. All right. One, two, three. After this, uh, we will have the rest of the. Uh, now we're gonna have the, we would have the rest of the um, the strings that I, I, I did this up yesterday. So it's done already. So this is good. This is done. Uh, it's this guy here. Great. Um, I'm going to disable all of these. So disable. That's it. Cool. All right. Great. Uh, so we've got the sketching patches. We've got the strings basics. I've got strings or articulations, I've got CSS, and we've got a little bit of speed fire here. Great. Okay. Um, now we're going after this, we're gonna do the kind of like percussion, don't have a lot, and then we're gonna do a brass. Cool. All right. I'm going to uh, move this guy here in my stream deck because I keep pushing it. Accidentally. It just kind of like pauses the recording. All right. So now this guy is going to be here. Boom. Call this orchestral enhances because it's not exactly percussion. So I'm going to go ahead and save as, uh, save multi as, uh, and these orchestral enhancers. <laughs> All right, cool. Now I can exit these. I'm gonna go back here. Um, so what we've got to do is one, two, or cash enhancers. B two. Bring it here. Oh no 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 no. Um, so it'd be three. B3. Mm, 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 Well, this guy. Nope. I'm running out of water. We have gone for not that long, for like what, two hours, 35 minutes. This will take an extra five hours, I guess. Uh,
What is the most common... I'll respond this later. Okay. I was just taking a rest. But it felt awkward after a little bit of not talking. I was like, I'm going to respond a couple of questions. But it's loaded. So let's continue. Um, this is the old UI of this library. Um, I should should update this one. But I've been using these libraries, uh, this, this template again for like 12 years. Some of these libraries were loaded here and it's like, it works, it works, right? It doesn't, it doesn't need to be changed. Anyway, one, yeah, 16, okay, makes sense. And so we've got one page, two pages. Um, is it in order? Nine, ten, 10, 12, 12, 11, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so, uh, oh, five. There's a five here and a five there. Uh, <laughs> a little bit not organized. So, I'm just going to make copies of, of this the way it is. Where did it go? Here, okay. Okay, fantastic, great. Now, dupl um, duplicate. Duplicate. Duplicate, eight. And duplicate. Great. Okay. Names Celesta, Timpani, Hits. Bass drum, cymbal swell, snare hits, timpani swells, forte, drums, small epic percussion, sub bombs, tam tam, timpani roll, mall wheel, piati, mall wheel tail. Arp, Mark Tree, Tiffany Swells, Mesa Forte, and Arp Glissandos. Cool. Castle Enhancers. Now I'm going to organize this a little bit. I'm going to have the Arp and Celesta together. I'm going to organize this for the first time in kind of like 10 years. You can see how I, I, I built this as, as I went. Uh, f based on the needs as I was explaining at the beginning and then because it's like a multi-instrument and it's like a, it's like a rock track with six, six, 16 mini tiles multi team multi contact it's hard to move things around so sometimes you're like ah whatever uh, but when it's an instrument track it's way easier to move things around because it's 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 one thing right it's the instrument kind of like the MIDI and the audio aux return in one track that is nice so far, still haven't crashed. It, it, ha it hasn't crashed. That is a good sign. Still have to do the composing. 
Um, but, but anyway, Team Bunny. I cannot wait to group the Team Bunnies. So Team Bunny, I'm gonna have the the hits first, and then I'm gonna have the Swells, Mecha Forte, and Forte. Then I have the uh, Grand Castle. Before that, I will have the Cymbal Swells. I'll have the Trams below. Snare hits are going to be between the Cymbal Swells. Uh, Piat is going to be on top of the Cymbal Swell. Uh, Mark Tree is going to be on top of the Piatti. Uh, Arp is going to be below the Celesta Arp and then Arp the Sandos. Then I'm going to have the uh, Timpani Roll um, here. Bass Drum, Drums, a small epic percussion. It's going to go, he can't be above the snare. Where is it? Here. And then we're going to have Sub Bum below the bass drum and Tam Tam is gonna go below the cymbal swell cool this makes sense this makes way more sense cool and now we're gonna have the going here we're gonna delete the stuff cool boom I'm gonna get some more so this is the Celesta Celesta right yes Celesta Celesta where's the mark tree oh it's here yes makes sense But I'm gonna move this down here first, and then I'm going to go here and delete all this. I'm gonna make this small so it's easier. If you could select a group of contact parties and delete them, all of them, that'd be that'd be that'd be nice. Some of these uh, libraries are the, I'll show you, the old Ton Hammer libraries. Yes, so it's here. Sec second page. So I can get rid of all this. Yes, super bomb. Oh, so careful. The ARP is here. I am planning on updating this this ARP. This is ARP Glissando, which was also in the second page, I think. ARP Glissando, yes. So I'm gonna get rid of page one first. Careful, because now we're gonna do ARP Glissando. It up there. Arp glissando. Boom, 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 boom. Correct. Mark tree. Where is it? Mark tree. Mark tree. There you go. So same deal. Boom 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 this boom 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 great ah. 
Uy. Weird. Piatti. Now, got two trucks for this. One, two. Two trucks. So, where's the Piatti? Here. Okay. Fantastic. So, I'm going to get rid of all of these first. And then we're going to get rid of these. Tam tam. And now, careful. So, the way this is set up is so I can have the piatti heat, right? Look. Okay. Now. I don't want to build this again. So, what's going on? It works. It's just that See one. I'll repeat this. It will take longer for me to figure this out than I'm reloading it. So, percussion instruments, Marchi, Piatti. So, we're gonna have the hits here and the choked one. Yep. Yeah. Piatti, where is it? Piatti. Got it. Got the point. And the choke here. Okay. Now the choke. I want to use modulation for this guy. So I'm going to go here to my select all editor groups. I'm going to go down here. Add modulator. It's going to be external uh, MIDI CC. Number one. Minus one. Inverted. Yes, and same thing for the other one. Piatti. 
not choked. Amulator. External, uh, external sources. Made easy. C. Number one. Minus one. Uh, not inverted. But that means that when both up, if I bring this down. Ah! ah dang. So forgot to forgot to activate the groups. Um, get rid. Delete. Up. Edit all groups. Down. Add moderator. Turn out short one more time. Maybe CC. One. Uh, minus one. Not inverted. Let's close this. Boom. So now. <laughs> choked. Not choked. Choked. <laughs> Not choked. Hey, Lucho. How are you? Good to see you. All right, let's continue. So that is the Piatti. Piatti. Okay, cool. And we can close this certain thing. Yeah. This guy. I could have loaded this on page one. Alright, it's okay. Symbol swell. Symbol swell, basically, let me see. If I'm going to have the same problem. So the symbol symbol low swell. Uh, there's there's nothing really special about this, I think. Symbol, let's see, if I change this to one, is this going to work? No. So. Percussion, instruments, symbol, Low, symbol swell, forte, swell, forte, yes, there you go. Tam tam, same thing, I'm going to delete this track. Duplicate this track. Tam tam. Open. Replace percussion. Instruments. Tam tam. Tam tam. Hits. Oh, we're gonna do the same thing. Hits. Hits choked. Number one. Great. Awesome. So, uh, same deal. Open, uh, edit all groups, go down. Uh, MIDI CC, add modulator, external sources, MIDI CC, number one, minus one. Great. And this one is like this. And the other one is going to be choked, uh, inverted. Uh, figure this thing out at the later <laughs> uh, add modulator external sources midi cc one minus one for modulation and it's gonna be invert inverted now so this this one choked so not choked choked All right, and then is this 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 behave the same thing? Choke. Oh, choke. Okay, great. Tam tam. Small big percussion. No problem with this. This we're gonna have no problem. Small. Boom. 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 All right. I just need to change this to number one. 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 Saving. One. One. 
one. Una. 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 And then all these. Oh, a shoe. Oh, well. Careful. 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 Ah. Careful. 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 Right. Okay. okay. Snare hits. One second. Now, snare hits. Okay, let's see how I've got this configured. Ah, I've been sitting here for a while today. Mm. Oh, fuck. All right, cool. All right, let's continue. Um, snare. So, snare one hits, snare one hits, timpani, where's the other snare? Huh? Yeah, snare for page two, if I remember correctly. Snare. Snare. Snare two, snare three. Four full, uh, four full pads. Okay. I'm just, uh, New, um, where's uh, what part is this exactly? Snare, snare meat, snare meat, uh, Spitfire, Spitfire, Lego, Santos, for cut. What's that? The back of the coach? Yes. Pues, está lo de las cuatro piezas esas lo tenemos en el conector de cuatro eso está en el carro en, sí. auto, en el trailer digamos. sí pero en el coche no, no, no sabemos dónde está no es muy sencillo dónde está no está ah eso es lo que estaba buscando y no sé y hay una tapita pero hay como un agujerito dentro no no eso no ese es del, del, del capote, se, se abre el capote, se quita el lado y ahí es donde está el conector. Pero no importa, eso no, tiene, no, no, no tienes que saberlo. Tú, eso es mecánico. Ya, me por qué, por qué la, porque los detalles dicen, pero ¿está o no está ese? Yo no, no, no está. O sea, está, pero no está. No está, o sea, básicamente está. ellos tendrán que mirar y dirán, ah, esto se conecta, si está, pues ya está. Sí, es el, C, es el CX9. Básicamente tienen que conectar desde... Esta, el conector ese no, no viene desde el capote, viene desde el... Claro, pero tienen que hacer lo que sea para que baje abajo y se pueda sacar. Sí, correcto. Ya, sí, básicamente es... Tiene que... Desde, el, desde la parte de atrás del, donde se carga... El, ¿Cómo se llama? Desde el... Um... ¿Las luces de atrás? No, no, no. ¿Dónde se el... ¿La no, de donde... <ríe> Hostia puta. Estoy súper lento. Eh, donde subes tú con los niños es... es, es, es a, ábreme el maletero. Ah, el maletero. Desde el maletero, ahí al lado, desde el maletero, a la mano derecha, quitas un plástico y ahí está el conector. Que desde ahí ellos tienen que comprar, que lo podríamos comprar nosotros en Amazon. Es que eso, para eso es que, en fin, eh, que te ayude, que te ayude eh, el mecánico. No. A lo de casa. Eso. Es decir, Mike. No, que lo, lleva, lo llevamos allí y que lo hagan ellos. Vale. Que no, que es que es mucha faena. No es mucha faena. Solo lo hacen aquí en el ordenador ha llamado a un sitio a otro y tal y dice, no, 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 Okay, cool. So we bought a a jet ski. It's in the garage. It's this guy here. No, zoom, zoom. It is there you go. There 
Jericho. This guy. So yeah, Maha Super Jet. We also bought it's used. We also bought a car. And now we have to we got a Mazda car. It's a 2013. Um, that we bought used as well. But now we have to connect the, the there's a cable so the trailer lights work and we get to connect it from the car to the trailer but the, the, the car doesn't come without cable obviously so you have to install it and I could do it down here so what? ¿Qué pasa? Bueno, pero ellos lo hacen, ¿no? Bueno, vamos al tema. Snare hit. Oh, all right. Uh, all right, cool. Let's do this. Uh, so, I'm going to try. First, if it worked, then I don't have to do all the work. No, not the Celesta. Not the Celesta, work the Celesta, boom the Celesta. Ah, it works! Awesome, great. Don't have to do the same thing that I did earlier. Timpani, uh, 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 snare, be careful. Number one, great. Let's make this smaller. Timpani, Abbey Road, large submarine. Boom, 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 great. Okay, now small, small, sub bomb. Careful here. Tam tam. Piati. Piati. Timpani roll. Orb. Mark tree. Timpani. Orb. These two snares. Number one. Bien. Number one. So that's that's first one. Great. Beautiful. Less. Cool. That's it. Great. Snare hits. Timpani hits. Timpani hits short, long. This should be hopefully easy. Let's see. Celesta. Where's the timpani? Timpani hits here. Please say yes. No. no. Mm. Shorter release. No worries. It's it's it is saved. It is saved. So if I go here, let's delete this. Timpani hits up an octave. No, oh, no worries. Timpani hits. Timpani hits. Copy. Um, new track. Boom. 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 Tim. Tim. All right, so now I have to load here percussion. Team, funny. Team, funny. Short to release on an octave. I think it's this one. Let's see. Team, funny. Up an octave, a timpani hits shorter release. These two. Up an octave and shorter release. Really?
this should be this guy. So what I've got is um, kind of like a short release, right? And then here. Without dampening, putting the harm on the membrane to, to stop it. And that's what I've got. Cool. Timpani swells. Mecha forte. This is a no-brainer. So I'm just going to reload it again. So um, instrument. Okay. And then instrument and then I'm gonna duplicate this so timpani swells match of forte timpani swells forte the reason why I'm reloading this patch is because I'm having problems okay timpani 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 let me see I'm just I'm gonna look at the configuration timpani swells match of forte okay So, uh, Timpani Swell Metro Forte, Percussion, Percussion, Instruments, Timpani Swell Metro Forte, uh, what? Metro Forte, Timpani Swell Metro Forte, okay. Oh my. Timpani Swell Metro Forte. Percussion instruments, timpani swells, metro forte. This is one. Great. Oof. Beautiful. This is the forte. So this is forte. Forte. And this is going to be metro forte. Metro forte. It's going to go up here. I load the match of forte one here. Match, 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 match of forte, match, match of here. These guys can disappear from here. And then now timpani roll mod we are gonna duplicate these. And I'm gonna copy, paste. This can be deleted. And this one I'm gonna open it. And same thing. Percussion. Boom. Timpani mod wheel. Um let me see. Which one is it? Do I have um company? Timpani, timpani, mod wheel, mod wheel, uh, timpani, timpani roll, timpani roll, timpani, where is it? Maybe it's here. Timpani rolls, mod wheel, just a regular one. Okay, cool. Timpani roll, mod wheel, timpani roll, mod wheel, timpani, again, one more time. Percussion, timpani, timpani roll, mod wheel. Timpani roll, mod wheel. Perfect, exactly. That's exactly what I need. And uh, uh, big soft. Okay. Um, now. So I'm gonna get rid of this. This is the Grand Casa, the bass drum hits. Uh, let's see if it works. Oh, it will work, yes. Perfect. 
No, I need two. Let me put it down here. Get rid of page two. I prefer not to reload the patch. I'm I'm trying to preserve everything because sometimes there are small little details, uh, tweaks that I did in these patches that maybe I forgot, and then they, they make a difference for me when I'm composing. Um, so that's why I'm using the exact same thing that I had. Subbum, ah, uh, subbum is here. So I'm gonna get rid of everything. The first page. And then the second page is this first one here. Great, Subbom is just um, this amazing. Now I'll have to bring down, and then uh, the volume of all this in a second. And then bass drum, uh, not bass drum, drums, which is this one here. And then I'll have to delete everything here. I'm amazed that there's still 24 of you are looking at how I'm loading patches. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate. Appreciate that. Cool, sounds good. Great. Now we just need to bring this down here as we have been doing this for a while, uh, several, several times. I'm gonna go here, F3. Close and Celesta, copy, paste. Great. So, when I'm copying these, what I'm copying is the configuration of this channel. It's careful, careful, because um, they are in a different order now. And I'm copying the EQ, the filter, the gain, the routing, and if there's anything in the, in the channel strip. For example, for the for uh, for Celesta, um, no. So uh, the, the the maximizer I have to get rid of this. No, right. Yeah. So for all the percussion, I got a little bit of magneto too, a little bit of um, um, tape saturation, right? Just a little bit. Then for in some some of these, I've got a little bit of tube. Um, a, a compressor, chips compressor type of thing. Right. So these are these are the things that I am copying. Um, all right, cool. Now, careful with this though. ARP, where's the ARP? Copy, copy, paste. Now, next one is going to be the ARP Lisando. ARP Lisando is here. Copy, paste. Great. Okay. Then the Mark Three. Copy. Based. Piatti. Piatti. Copy. Paste. Symbol swell. Symbol swell. Symbol swell. Copy. Paste. Tam tam. Copy. Paste. Small epic percussion. Small epic percussion. Copy. Paste. Snare hits. Snare hits, copy, paste, timpani hits, timpani hits, copy, paste, timpani swell, this is the, which one, the mezzo forte, timpani swell, mezzo forte, timpani swell, mezzo forte, this one, copy, Uh, 
paste. Now the next one is going to be the Pensuel Forte, which is going to be this one here. Yes. Copy. Paste. All right. Next. Small bit percussion. We're going to point it out just a tad. Then we're going to have a timpani roll mod wheel. This is timpani roll mod wheel. This one here. Copy. Paste. The. Um, bass drum copy paste then we're gonna have a soup bum soup bum copy paste and then drums copy paste now I close this and we're gonna make them gonna bring them up here cool and now we're gonna create a here. I'm gonna create a folder here. Uh, a track folder. Um, progression enhancers. Ah, just the name. Celesta. The drums. I'm gonna move it here. And um, this is going to be green. Uh, I think it's this green here. Is this in green? I think so. All right. Cool. We've got another group. I still have to do the, the negative delays later on. So I got, when I'm done, I cannot delete everything. So, okay. We've got the sketching patches. We've got the strings, basically. We've got the, um, the cinematic studio strings. We've got the Speedfire strings. No, the uh, cinematic studio strings. Speedfire strings. We've got some enhancers. Woohoo. Getting closer. All right. Change view. Sorry. All right, let's continue. Now uh, we're going for the, yeah, horns. Um, zebras are loaded here, so that is nice. And then percussion is going to be easy. These guys are loaded here, so um, maybe I'll skip this for now, even though they are multi chimbral and I don't like it. But. This is gonna this is gonna be easy. Omnisphere. I don't know if I've got Omnisphere uh, installed in this computer. It's in my. I think I had problems with Omnisphere. Let me see. Uh, instrument track. I truly want to replace everything, but maybe maybe I'll get. We'll see. Let's do let's do brass. Let's do horns. Horns. All right. So I'm gonna create a new track here. Track. Instrument track. A track. Where is it? Here. Let's move it out of the way. Like here, maybe. No. Great. Okay. Didn't go in the folder. Fantastic. Correct. Now, um, as, as always, we're going to go here. And then we're going to go horns. Horns. Boom. File. Save as. It's great. We just have one page. No. Two pages. Two destacados. I just, what is this? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, for whatever reason, it's here. Okay, cool. Uh, mistakes. Cool. So save multi as and it is going to be horns. Horns version three. Save. Mm. 
Perfect. Now, can go back here. One, two. Horns, version three, here. Great. What just happened? Oh. There you go. Horns three. Okay, cool. Now we're gonna go here. And uh, here we're gonna load. Horns three. No. While this is loading, we could go here. And we could go here to trumpets and trombones. And we could save this one. Save. Before we do. Oh, yes. Yes. What is this doing here, trombone? Why, why one? I don't understand. Low rush. Monster rush. I, I, why one? Oh, B. Really? No. No, this is wrong. This is wrong. This is, this is, this is actually here. Trombones. Trumpets and monster brass B makes no sense. B. I understand that uh, this is not the way I have it configured. Anyway, I think I'll figure this out later, but I'm going to for now going to save all the us and uh, okay and this is what trumpets and trombones trumpets and trombones so b2 b2 save come back to you later this is okay fantastic now browse folder i'm gonna go down here and then we're gonna go here and my samples okay do your thing we're gonna go back to with the Anna so this has been saved now we're gonna go to trombones tuba so tuba and low brass tuba and low brass boom uh, load no uh, save us no, save multi us and then this is gonna be Okay, now um, this is going to be tr uh, tuba and low brass. Tuba and low brass. Tuba and and low brass. Okay, save. Now while we're waiting, we're gonna go back here. Oh, still working on it. Okay, one, two. So we've got tuba and low brass. And then we've got trumpet and trombones with two that I just created. Cool. How are you doing? Great. Okay, fantastic. Ready to go. How how many? So we've got one, two, three. 12, 12, well, made sense, 13 is here, 12, mm, all right, 12 then, 12 it is, so, duplicate, 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 we've got eight now. And if I duplicate the four, that will be still selected, then we'll have 12. Duplicate. I hoped.
Cool. Now, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy. What happened? Oh, B2. What is this? Oh, whatever. Copy. Yeah, there, it's okay. I'll get rid of this anyway. anyway. Copy, paste, 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 copy, paste. Cool. So, so, mm, yeah, pretty simple should be this. Uh, let's see. So, uh, this is going to be a uh, one, two, right? Cool. So, I'm going to delete everything. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's pretty straightforward, I think. One, let me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. So get rid of this one. Get rid of this, 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 this. And now we're gonna do one. Just, just uh, let me make sure just one more time that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Perfect. So very simple. One, two, three. So one and two, and then then we need to look at the numbers. This is the the poly legato. That does, has this configuration of poly legato mapping. Uh, this is the mono. Let's let's see if this is true. This one's just like great. It works. Okay, cool. So one, two, three, four. This is the horn saw true legato. This is the um One, two, three. One, two, three. 
Oh. These these horns uh, is these horns beautiful for like um, um, this is uh, from Cinebrass. The other three are from the Pro. This is from Quor. They have two horn solos: one in the Quor, one in the Pro. The one in the Quor is softer. And it's beautiful. So. Horn, um, core. Mm, horns the two horns legato the two horns short <laughs> Okay, I see why. Okay, now, uh, sorry. What is going on? Hello. I don't understand. Okay. That's one thing. That's the first thing. Second, second thing. Second thing is we're gonna go here. And the mapping. It's going to be. Oh, I know here. Um, okay. Short on high. Usually, okay. Now, nah, whatever. Okay, I, yeah, yeah, I know what it is. That's okay. Works. And then boom 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 so the 
Jeez. Okay, too loud, I know, but I'll, I'll bring it down later. So then this is... So, everything works the way it should. And then we've got this guy here that is going to be his last one here. Great. Boom, boom, boom. Could have done this a little bit faster. I just. <laughs> Solo. They have to bring it down, I know. Cool. Close, close. And then this is the pro. Uh, the polygato. Great. And then this is the, the, the core. Okay, cool. And the mono. Great. And then we've got the. Same thing for the legato. No. There you go. The six horns. Crap. Mm. Oh, six horns sound beautiful. But I will have to okay, duplicate this guy. And the two horns mono legato which has the six horns instead. Um, I'll have to copy, paste, delete. Great. Two horns short, uh, no, two horns legato is this last two. Cool. So I'm going to, um, yeah, one, two, three. It's saving. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Oof. Horn legato. Here's this one in the middle. I'm going to. Why 
what did I do wrong again? Ah! Alright. <laughs> oh man. Alright, make sure. Two horn. Ah, oh, I know. I see. Okay. Too many opened. Okay, so two horn legato. Now this one. So this is the two horn and boom, 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 boom. Now I'll do it right. I swear. Come on. Boom, 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 boom. There. Two horn legato. Okay, and then we've got this one. Let me open this one second. So we got the two horn sandal true legato. Uh, true legato. Which one is this? This one, this one. Settings. Settings. Money polo. Vale, poly, money. So, so to so this is the legato, this is poly, poly legato, and this is this one two horns yes, uh, settings, poly legato. forward horn six articulation cool exactly great and then the horns monogato is the great boom boom and then number one it should be easy. It took me forever. Were uh, when I messed up, uh, but this 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 it should be easy. Just just need to see the brass, um, bro. There you go, brows. Uh, twelve horns, twelve horns. Flag, 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 flag. True legato. Yep. <laughs> Bend down river. 
going to be yellow. Now, uh, let's, let's move this here. Let's copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. Oops. F3. Cool. Copy. Paste. Copy. Paste. Copy. Paste. Copy, paste. Copy, paste. Careful. I don't know. Uh, 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 copy, paste. Copy, paste. Copy, paste. Copy. Paste. Copy. Paste. Copy. Come on. Copy. Paste. Now. Okay. I'm not sure. Let me do this again. Copy, paste. Great. Copy, paste. Great. Copy, paste. Copy, paste. Copy, paste. whatever reason copy paste great copy paste copy paste why I'm not let's see on slow articulation on mono legato, solid poly, on core poly, core and core two. What am I doing wrong? That's uh, so. This is the first, the first, the two, two copy. This is the first of the two, two paste. First of the two, copy. The first of the two, paste. The first of the two, the second of the two, copy. The second of the two, paste. The third of the two, copy. The third of the two, paste. The first of the six, copy. The first of the six, paste. The first of the six, copy. The first of the six, paste first of the 12 copy the first of the 12 paste again copy paste copy paste great <laughs> all right 
So horns. I'll do the rest. I'll do them uh, faster. I'm not. I'm not gonna play around that much. So horns. A track folder trap horns. Where is it? I mean, maybe it's here. No, I don't know where it is. Track folder track horns. A track. Where did it go? Safe. Let's try one more time. Read. A track folder track. Horns. A track. Sorry. Oh. Now. Oops. Yellow. Great. So horns, those. Next, trumpet. Um, trumpet and trombone. Trumpets and trombones. So, any question or anything for the amount of reverb should add to each section of the orchestra, early reflections and that kind of stuff. So, the quick answer is like, I don't add any reverb uh, when I'm composing. Um, but if you want tips, um, generally the orchestra uh, for like long sustained notes, things like this, you're gonna have a long reverb type with like hall type of setting, maybe like we're talking 2.4, 2.7 seconds tail, 3.2 is a very long reverb uh, for um, for like short notes or stinatos and things like this. Um, maybe a, little, a shorter reverb, uh, like 1.4, 1.7, 1.0, not 2.1.4. Um, but, but sometimes you don't need any reverb. Um, so start without reverb because the instruments already have um, you know, they've been recorded in a, in a big scoring stage, so if they've got enough reverb um, for it to sound like a like an orchestra in up the still, this is like in a studio setting, scoring stage or studio, or uh, like studio, like scoring stage, and so it has, a, it has less reverb than, let's say, a concert hall, right? And so it's obviously it's very typical to add reverb later on, I leave that for the you know the mixing stage. If I'm not doing the mixing, I'll do a quick, I'll add a quick reverb. Um, yeah, I'll I'll add that in my stems here. So see, and I've got groups of, for example, um, like shorter strings. So shorter strings high, shorter strings low, longer strings high. This will have a little bit of a longer reverb. See, but at this moment it's it's bypassed. Um, so 2.9 second reverb is kind of like a federal type of setting for this one. I have no reverb for the low, long strings. I have no reverb for the low, short strings. I've got a, a short reverb, which is not active at the moment for the, if I, if I were to activate this one. There you go. Um, it would be this one. 1.4 second. This lexicon here. Um, that's it. Ah. All right, let's do trumpets now. So I'm going to um, load a track here. Track, instrument, add track. And then this is going to be 
load and I there's a trumpet trumpet and trombones b2 no and then it's going to ask me where all this is there we go My uh, one of the editors has sent me a testimonial. Uh, is it okay if I watch it while this loads? Because I have to give him notes. So you're gonna watch it with me. It's very musical, and uh, and you do great mockups. And yeah. That, yeah. that means a lot to me because I'm I'm a piping engineer. So <laughs> you are a what? I I am piping engineer. I'm working on uh, ships. Really? Wow. <laughs> yeah. So wow. Th this is a really big compliment uh, from uh, such a person. So well, thanks I a wish, lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, I tell you, not many musicians are. I mean, sometimes I, I my mockups don't sound like this, probably. And, and sometimes I hire people to improve the mockups because uh, to present them. And uh, not many people sound uh, that good. I tell you, you're in a very good position. So okay. you, you work Cubase, Logic, and. Lots of FL black. Studio, FL Studio, Antipico. What's that? F FL Studio, the old Fruity Loops. I don't know oh, if you Fruity know Loops. that one. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, I, I've heard of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not strictly for, uh, let's say, film music. Uh, it's more down, for but, yeah. techno and loops and all that. Which yeah, is, yeah, it's much easier, it... but, but it works for me, so... Exactly. <laughs> if it works, why not? Why not? Yeah, it works very well, obviously. When did you write your first uh, Q or casual? Well, yeah, I think it was, to be honest, uh, the, like uh, very seriously, it was start with the momentum before. Oops. Before I was trying to do some, uh, as I mentioned to you, some epic stuff, because this is something I'm really up to. But um, yeah, it starts with momentum, actually. So. Is it loaded? Still loading. Okay. Awesome. Two, three months. As you uh, see, no, Javier, okay. I'm, two, three I'm, months. Yeah. I'm, tr I'm trying yeah, to craft a nice. testimonial here. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, but, you know, if if the well, Navali actually, industry... I I was I was also trying uh, some things on the Tony classes, and I'll, I'll cut this the, part. In... I'll cut. This part. <laughs> okay. Cut the bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm sorry to say, but your danger is that you might get bored because uh, you might get a point in which you say. Okay, I, 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 I know that I can do this and what is what is next? That's a, a very real danger. So you should try to look for a small job as a, I mean, even if it's a small, yeah. like, as a composer, <laughs> like, uh, yeah, TV, something like that. Even if you keep with your working in your engineer stuff, I say, why not? You can do it very. And, and you know. I, I'm really spending a lot of time now with uh, music. So I hope that my the bots that I'm working now on will not go into sync on the C trials. You know? <laughs> right. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> anyway, thank you again. This is uh, yeah, amazing. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'll see you tonight. Eight o'clock. Don't be late this time. You have it is perfect because uh, it's better to have more than less. Uh, like uh, if you have the choir, on, I think it's very good. Um, I mean, the, the first part is amazing. It's so beautiful. Uh, the, the way uh, here is an example of how I, this kind of chords, uh, they're non-linear. No, there's like a, one are longer than others, and there's the flute which uh, makes. Pam 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 
choral effect, like uh, a little bit. The, the uh, choral effect is, I might, you might be better to do something like, or something like that, a kind of conclusion. And then, yes, the final, very final brass uh, cluster is, is slightly in, in so many things. Yes, sir. This, this works, it's great. Let me just give you a, a note to him real quick. Where is it here? Yeah, perfecto. Cool. All right, let's continue. I'm going to move this out of the way. Here. Boom. Then. All right, let's continue. Sorry for interruption. Um, great, cool. Everything loaded, fantastic. Okay, let's take a look at this. So, what do we have here? Got a. Do we have anything here? Uh, this guy that may be. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, All right, so I'm not going to spend as much time as earlier. So just straightforward. Uh, okay. Doop. And I'm gonna dupe and I'm gonna go take a P now. Back and I back. All right. This is going to go here. Yes. Copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. Copy, paste, 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 copy, paste. What did they do wrong? Crap, this happens. Arctic leg, leg soft, Arctic leg soft, Arctic leg soft, okay. Long, short, long, Arctic, long, short, long, Arctic. And then we got Arctic uh, leg, Mote harm, Flutter.
Luther. Copy. Paste. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What the hell? What did I miss? Arctic leg south. Arctic leg south. Okay. Arctic leg short. Arctic leg long, short, long, Arctic. Long, short, long, Arctic. Long, short, long, arctic, long, short, long, arctic, then leg, 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 ah, here, leg, okay, here, okay, leg, oh, excuse me, okay, okay,
right. Kind of pushing my limits today. Been 12 hours staring at this um, screen. That's okay, but uh, I may me I may make some mistakes. Um, that's okay. Um, let's continue. The third trombone, but. So fantastic. The second ensemble trombone parts. Gracias. Hasta ahora. Hey Shane. Perfect. Now we're going to move this here. Let's go here. 
here, but the base could be based. So, copy, paste. Great. Copy, paste. Great. Copy, paste. Copy, paste. Copy, paste. First muted, paste. Why did not work? Copy, paste. Great. The second muted, copy. Paste Harmon mute Paste Second Harmon mute Paste The first trombone is a solo one Second trombone The first trombone ensemble The second trombone ensemble, trombone ensemble muted, trombone ensemble harmon mute, Florato. Great. Okay. Let's let's test this puppy. Solo. Quite low, isn't it? Uh, soft, isn't it? Same. Volume is good here let's see this is solo but still what <laughs> what's going on here what Trumpet and symbol. I'll replace this trumpet soon. Um, probably in brass, most likely. I'll do this uh, later. For now, I'm just replicating the template. So, trump. Um, it's it's very soft. Let me compare. I don't know if it's uh, if I brought down the volume or what. So I'm gonna compare this with. Uh, with this guy, which is for me, is your reference. So I'm going to so clearly it's super soft. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this 
uh, up here. So minus 13, uh, it's minus six. I think it's the, just the first three actually. Minus 13, I'm gonna bring these to minus six. Something like this, let me see, let me see now. So, so. Lot of walk to be done here. Oh, questions. BBC, I haven't used. I haven't used Shane. I'm sorry. Yeah, this the idea. The idea of this template is I, I want to try. Uh, so reading, reading the question from Shame. Also, are you going to disable all the tracks before saving as template and enable them when needed? Uh, this is the idea. I want to test this. I'm basically moving from moving from. I just, I just, I'm, I'm gonna put like 20 hours in kind of like um, um, changing my template from what it is, which is two computers be pro the whole thing to one computer disabled tracks, going from uh, rock tracks to just instrument tracks uh, and the whole thing. I'm gonna give this a try because next month I've got a movie. Um, starting, it's kind of like this, uh, like 60 minutes of music. Um, it starts on the 16th, ends on the 9th. So it's one of these projects where you have to be fast and efficient. And I wanna try a different system and I I, I think the best way to, to test something new is to truly like put it into, you know, working a real project. Um, and so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the change now. I'm gonna put two days um, changing this template. I'm gonna finish it today, and then for the project, I'm gonna use it and see how it, if, see if I like it. If I don't like it, I'm, I'll just I'll just uh, go back to, to to what I had. So yeah, kind of like I'm trying to, and also I want I want to make things a little bit more efficient uh, as well in terms of like um, has um I feel especially this this part here. I want to replace all my like or most of the third-party plugins and um, 
and replace all these kind of like for the fancy expensive plugins with the stock plugins that are a little bit more efficient. Efficient. These plugins are great. I've got a few UADs. I've got other things, but add uh, quite a bit of latency. See down here. It's not a problem because when I'm composing, I'll do constraint delay compensation and I'll deactivate. Boom! All the plugins that are latency when I'm composing. But I would like to not have to do that and, and lower the latency as much as possible. Um, and obviously this is a buffer size. Uh, thing, but if on top of that you've got the um, these plugins that add extra latency, like 40 seconds of, of latency, it's just, just, just no, it's just too much, right? Which again, no problem because when I'm composing, I'll activate or deactivate all these plugins with the um, constraint delay comp compensation. But uh, I think I can keep things more efficient. Also, I would like to, um, if I'm able to do this, then it means that the this template is going to be a little bit more portable, um, and I can use a MacBook Pro or something like this. Um, so that's it. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I have um, an around 700 tracks template in QA's 10.5, uh, and my 32 um, gigabytes RAM always had about 85% RAM usage. Okay. I prefer to be in the lower side of things. Um, I've got 128. If I can keep it in 32 gigs of RAM, that means that I could be able to use it in a, in a smaller computer later on. Cool. All right. Great question. Thanks for asking. So. Great, let's continue. Great, I've done this one. 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 No reverb. Reverb is later on. Later on, if needed. So Now, next. Minus three, yes. Um, obviously, I have to 
I have to compose something to to be to be able to test this move. Seven. What is this? Minus sixteen now. Minus five. This one. Again, I'm replacing this soon. Some of this. <laughs> Solo short deviations. So we got some of the same short. Yes. Minus. Yes. Oh, I see. I remember this. Yeah, yeah. That's not a bad technique. Um, there you go. Yes. A little bit of facing issues there. It's just that, like a first draft. Thank you. 
Okay, cool. We're down here. Great. Awesome. So color. And we are. I'm going to just make him here. Yes. Color is going to be this. And trumpet trombones. So we're going to create a folder here. Folder. Trumpets, trumpet, trumpets, and trombones. Yeah, Shane. Um, that's great that you are making your template more efficient and made mine project ready about two months ago and already uh, need to rework it. Uh, yeah, it always it's like a work in progress. Um, I've got a series of tracks that, you know, have been there for the longest time and that, you know, those haven't changed. Um, many of these tracks haven't changed. But um, I think it's like once you have it project ready, um, then what changes actually is, you know, based on, you know, pro project by project, uh, you know, the, the top of the template kind of thing um, is where, you know, usually the, 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 the way it goes for when I start a project, for example, is um, I'll do, yeah, I'll work on the concept first. So it's concept suite. And then I start, oh, this is, then a spotting session and, and, uh, and I start composing. Usually I'll get like a rough cut of the project. Um, which is generally is the editor cut, editor cut version two, then director's cut, and then the executive producer or the producer approved locked picture. And then from there, um, spotting session with director, and then um, start composing cue by cue. But generally I have a cut. I ask, you know, the editor to send me what, what they've got. And that's, you know, an approximation of what's going to be the locked picture. Uh, sometimes it's, it's more, it's more complex than that. Um, but for the, uh, the this project that I'm going to be working on, it's a TV movie, and uh, usually it goes like this: editor, editor, director, producer, and then sometimes ex executive producer. So four or five cuts, um, and so in the first cut, which generally is like 20 days before the lock picture, um, I'll have that first cut, and my process is going to be concept. Come up with a concept, right? It's like musically, sonically, thematically, right? Um, what it is that I'm going to do. And so generally at that part, I start adapting the template. Template stays the same, but I'll add a few tracks. Then after that, I'll start and I'll create a, the next step, so it's concept and suite. I'll compose a four to 15 minutes suite uh, with the con, like developing the concept sort of thing. And then, um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll adapt my template a little bit more. I may add a few things. Um, and that's what's going to, to create like the, the sound of that movie. And that is what is going to make that movie unique. Um, and it's not going to sound like every other movie that I've done, you know, using all of the same instruments, right? Um, and after that, you know, with the concept being established, I've written also like a 15 minutes cue, makes me feel comfortable. I show, yet, I show that to the director and uh, they'll say, all right, yes, I like this part or I hate this other part. And I know exactly, uh, or I have a, a, a good idea of, you know, where I'm going to go from there. Uh, I've prepared everything musically to develop it, you know, in the entire movie. Uh, and my template has been, has been adapted for that specific movie, to, for that specific movie to have a unique specific sound. Um, but generally the, the, the template, which is 80% of the tracks always stays the same to me. Um, and I'm trying to make it more efficient again, because I explained this earlier, because, um, so it's more eff efficient is one thing. And the other thing is I'm trying to make it more tangible because uh, I'm, you know, I do projects. I'm a composer. I do my movies, um, but also I'm teaching, right? And when I'm teaching, um, if I'm like, okay, so this is how you, how you know, I'm gonna teach you how to compose and I, whatever I'll teach, whatever it is, right? But then um, some some students told me it's like, okay, cool, 
uh, you know, you've got one computer, two computers, you know, 128, 128, 256 gigs of RAM, and you've got B Pro and all this system, and it's it's just too big for some, for the aspiring composers, for those who are starting out, it's like, it's too big for them to relate. And so I'm trying to do something that even though it's big, you know, it's kind of like more attainable or more like this could be, and I don't, I don't never recommend to start with something as big as this, like 200, 300, I never recommend starting. It's like start with 16 and then work in something and as you understand what are the things that you need, then include them in your template. And this template has been growing and evolving for the past 12 years. I've got tracks here that have, you know, that have been here for the longest time. Um, but, uh, but, but I, you know, it's, yeah, it's understanding, like you say, it's a, it's an ever ending process sort of thing. Makes sense. All right, cool. So, he's done. Great. We're gonna make this the same color. Forgot. Great. So you got this. And um, what else? Let's um, look at all this. All right, cool. I forgot to to deactivate all this. This is the first time, by the way that I work like this. This these activate deactivate tracks first time. I've never done it. Um, we'll see how it goes. Um, so when I'm when I'm when I'm this is the first time that I that, I, that I'm going to use this and when I'm selecting a track and then activating it and waiting it for for getting for for activated for for getting it enabled uh, those couple of three seconds, they bother me very much. But we'll see. Again, maybe maybe it's a, it's a bad idea. Maybe I don't like it. And then I'll go back to the earlier project, to the earlier. Um, so. Cool. Takes a little bit. Makes sense. Anyway. Right. Okay. So now I'm going to need. I'm gonna create. Um, Correct. Load. To a. Uh, and low brass. No. How many minutes have got left here? 197. Three hours. And here three hours yes and here five hours okay we've, we've been going for five hours i'm wondering how what's the longest stream that you can do i guess few days or unlimited i don't know um, all right, yes, uh, browse folder. I've got all my templates in one drive. So I don't have to worry about finding the libraries. There you go. And it works just fine. Now, to it something wrong I did something wrong it's weird isn't it
Oh, I know. Oh, I see. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, I see. Yeah, yeah. Ah, this is not here. That's why. This is here. There you go. Ha ha. Now, um, uh, la, 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 save us. Save us. No, save multi us. This one. Um, tuba. Tuba and Lobras replace. Yes. Now we're gonna go here. Boom. Um, load. Load. Tuba and Lobras. Boom. Um, yes, replace. Now, perch, and uh, we're gonna do boom, one, one. Okay, sorry if I don't explain um, everything that I do. I'm just trying to, to move as fast as possible um, at the moment, and also trying to avoid making mistakes. One, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. You know what I'll do? Oh, one, one, one. Perfect. Um, all right. So this one thing. Uh, second. Perfect. All right. And then that's it. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Duplicate. 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 One, two, three, four, five. Ah, come on. Try this. Um, so all this noise, I'll filter it later. Cool. No, one more time. There you go. loud but um fix this later
chimbazo. Why, mom? This is... If this is big, wait for this. <laughs> Alright, this monster brush. Cool. We are done here. Ah, this is good. Brass done. Let's go, Woods. Um, Cinebra is great for horns. Um, I like Cinebrass for, for, for horns. Trombones are beautiful. The low brass is amazing. Trumpets, uh, I like Berlin uh, better. And I'll, I'll replace this at some point. Not, not today. Now, um, we're going to go here. And we're going to copy these guys. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. So, copy. Paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. What this does is it copies the channel strip configuration. So routing, volume, gain, channel strip, like strip, channel strip, this, this thing adds a little bit of, um, there we go. Let's see, um, let's do, um, understand, understand, and not minus eight, but minus six, minus six, like this. It's way louder, but also the group is... It's a bigger group, so it makes sense. It sounds louder and thicker. Thoughts on C uh, on Cinematic Studio Brass? It's awesome. It's great. It's fantastic. Um, so I, I don't own it. Uh, I've tried it. Um, 
beautiful sound, a little bit more on the realistic side of things. Um, I don't need it at the moment. It's got enough. But it's great. It's great. It's awesome. If you don't have brass, you know, that would be a fantastic starting point. If you have brass and you think that that can add something, um, well, if you know their style, meaning the, you know, with the, the legatos, the latency, all these things, um, the interface, and you like it, go for it. My recommendation is great. Tuba low brass. Tuba and low brass. Um, so, tracks, folder, tuba, and low brass. Should be somewhere. I don't know where, where they end. I'm going to do this again. Add track. It's a folder track that is called tuba. Um, tube and low brass. Brass. Copy, just in case. I don't want to write a track. <laughs> I don't know where they go. Uh, one more time. I'll put it here, let's see. I'll find them somewhere. There you go. Okay. To um and low brass. These are my guys here that are going to go. It's not this um this is the wrong yellow, isn't it? Let me see. It should be this yellow. This yellow exactly. And the same thing here. This yellow, this one here. Boom. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, right? All right. Oh. Oh, no, no. Okay, no. Uh, so this is going to go up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I was doing it right. Boom. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, that's correct. Whatever. Um, horns, trumpets, tuba and low brass. This is the guy that I'm looking for. All right, we're good. We are good. Now, um, so far so good. Not a lot. Sketching patches, strings basics, uh, CSS. And I'm going to deactivate. It's deactivating. Then all the strings, my Spitfire strings, uh, the orchestral enhancers, enhancers, horns, trumpets, trombones, tuba, and uh, and low brass. All right, so far so good. So far so good. Now we're gonna go for. Gonna go for um for woods. It should be very very easy because this is pretty straightforward. Just you know loading the patch, uh, pretty simple. So it's gonna go here, uh, CSW, and we've got two contacts. Is that correct? One here. I think we don't have any kind of like uh, multi 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yes, nothing here, so pretty clean. And then here we got another group of 10, pretty clean. So let's do this. Okay, so contact. Boom. Save. Multi. Um, that's going to be up here. Boom, boom, boom. Um, boom. Copy. Save. Combo, por Dios, Mark. Qué labor tan tremenda. Parece un directo con Tony. Ja. Gracias por el tiempo y tus conocimientos. All right. Hey, my pleasure. My pleasure. I also need to get this done. <laughs> you saying thanks for uh, this um, epic day. Also, again, I need to get this done. Uh, you guys. Um, it's account accountability. <laughs> CS2. Um, saved. Okay, cool. Uh, 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 so now we're going to load another instrument how many times we've done this <sighs> okay instrument boom add track now we're gonna go we're gonna skate cool now we're gonna go here load oh we still have not done this we have to cinematic studio woods we'll have to move them here now they are here now we can open them here one no it's gonna ask me where this is. The next one, I'm gonna I'm gonna go take a pee. The next time I load. While there are things that I that I don't like about the disabled track, and it takes a few seconds to enable the track, um, there are other things that I like very very much, which is the you know I've been stuck in a good way in the in the you know where my mic is like when I'm talking the mic <laughs> it's here it's out here and I move it around see when I'm here and then when I talk here it usually bring that's why when I sometimes I do like this right um, and you don't see this here Anyway, that being said, because because uh, sometimes I want to talk here, right? And I needed a mic here, 
if I'm here, then it's gonna sound far. But if I'm here, right, it's gonna sound right. But then the, if, I, if I talk here, obviously it's gonna sound far. Just wanna be able to move around. Um, so anyway, it's still loading. That is why I'm talking. Um, so, um, so yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited about the, um, I've, 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 I've been stuck with the kind of like the, with the sort of like the, um, rock track, right? With the multi timbral you know, the 16 MIDI tracks, the 16, you know, um, audio or aux returns, the MIDI here, the audio here, then kind of like, you know, MIDI, audio, MIDI, audio, MIDI, audio, and it's, and it's, it's nice. It feels so good. It feels so good to have like self-contained instrument tracks, um, which you know some of my tracks in the template were self-contained, were you know for like the zebras and the omnispheres and things like this. Um, obviously for like the non-contact stuff most of the times as well. Um, but um, and the, I've been for the longest time, and it made sense. Um, you know. Um, Entertaining the idea of you know contact is more efficient uh, when you know when it, with large templates contact is gonna be more efficient with kind of like multi timbral you know using sixteen um, you know sixteen not patches because some of them are 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 you know a few patches but you know the the sixteen channels um, and then with B Pro obviously. Uh, it makes sense because you're not you're not gonna have you're not gonna have you know you're, you're trying to organize things in instances and within in, within within each instance you're gonna have you could have multiple contacts but uh, but then again it's the same thing when you go back to Cubase there's you know anyway still loading but I'm very excited to use instrument tra instrument track again it, it kind of like reminds me to the all days, um, um, I started with uh, BN Ensemble B B BSL with your orchestral cube, um, and back then it was EXS24. I'm talking 2008. No, no, earlier than that. I'm talking 2006. Um, um, I think that the orchestral cube was released in 2004. Um, but anyway, 2006 you had I think it the uh, EXS, then Giga, and then Contact. I think. Um, no, I, I was using the EXS24. It was so nice. It's so nice because it was very light. Um, back then, I wasn't using a template, which is going there, search the instrument, you know, click, load, boom, and then EXS. It was the same thing, right? It's a self. It's kind of like the uh, instrument track type of approach. Very light, very easy, and usually I would start composing, and I would load as I needed, and then at some point when I had like 20, 30, 30 tracks, I would reorganize them. Uh, by uh, alphabetically, <laughs> so it was easier to find them later on as I I would progress composing, and it felt good. It felt you know that you are in in charge, in control of the um, of the template instead of it, it being the other way around. So that's it. Still loading. Uh, that happened yesterday with uh, when I loaded um, when I loaded. Uh, uh, cinematic studio strings uh, so I don't know and it took it took a while it took a while um, and then all of a sudden it loaded it seems like it cr it has crashed but I don't think it has crashed um, Hey! Ya acabo, cariño. Sabes que ya paramos. Hola, mi amor. Hola. Papá tiene un cono. Sí. Ella tiene un cono. Mira. Ella tiene un cono tuyo. Sí. He's looking at. He's looking at this. Um. Cono. Hey guys. Um. I'm gonna go. All right. We'll. This will load at some point. It's been great. It's been great. Thanks. Thanks for watching. It's been awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys staying for so long. Thanks for the comments. Thanks for the questions. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. All right. See you tomorrow. I
wasn't able to finish this finish this maybe tonight or tomorrow morning and uh, all right have a great day see you soon bye bye